Man, there's no way I can live up to that hype. Whew, I sit down, put on my headphones, and I hear that, that, that climax coming up. Jeez Louise, what a way to start. Anyways, guys, welcome back again. Hope everybody's having a nice day so far. Good to have you once again back on the channel. No, 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 no. I... That's not my nickname, Rumpus, although that is a nickname from a very well-known Terran player. He decided to change his ID. Hold up, let me actually double-check this real quick. Liquipedia... Uh, was it...? Oh, no, 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 I'm thinking of someone else. Who was it again? So, Bjorn... Bjorn used to play under the nickname of Excrement. Great nickname, of course, naturally. Uh, absolutely S-tier nickname. Doesn't really get much better than that. Uh, who was it again that used to play under the ID of Climax? I think it was Rogue. Yes. Rogue had an alternate ID where he capitalized the M as well. Fantastic nicknames. Coming from Korea. Excrement and Climax. That would have been a one versus one. Ultimately, they decided to sit, yeah, with, with Rogue and Bion, but... I like that he capitalized the M. He actually, like, he thought about it, you know? Hey, what's going on, Nolan? You're back from vacation? Very nice, dude. Hope you had a good time. <sighs> good morning. In Florida? I think it's Florida. Very nice. Is the time zone funky still, by the way, for those of you in the US? What time do I go live at now on the East Coast? Is it f minus five or minus seven? I think it's minus five hours from me now, right? I think I got live one hour later than I used to for you guys. It's 9 a.m. where you're at? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty reasonable time. 10 a.m. where you're at? Wait, where are you at if it's 10 a.m.? Either you're like on the east coast of like Canada or something, maybe somewhere in South America, or you're in the middle of the ocean. 10 a.m.? It's 10 p.m. where you're at? I, yeah, uh, yeah, memory. It's in Nova Scotia? Ah, okay, okay. So I was right. Nice. 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. on a Saturday? Damn. Renovan is uh, committed to the stream. You love to see it. Yeah, Memory doesn't just have Japanese characters in front of her name to be a weeb. But she actually lives in, in Japan. Not everybody from Japan is necessarily a weeb. But they are. It's all... Yeah, it's... It's confusing, man. Guys in the chat have told me that, yeah, you, you don't necessarily have to be from Japan to be a weep, but not necessarily everybody in Japan is a weep eater. How does it work? Tell me something cool about Japan. Me? Uh... They have great watches, dude. I love Japanese watches. Grand Seiko? Fantastic bang for buck. Although, it's a device that tells the time, which you really don't need. So, talking about value and watches in the same sentence, especially luxury watches, is kind of stupid. But as far as luxury watchmaking goes, Grand Seiko was awesome. There you go. All weeps come from Japan. No, no, no. The Japanese volleyball team is sick? Are they sick? What do they have? Hope they get better soon, dude. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <sighs> Anything new on the StarCraft 2 subreddit? Let us go ahead and have a look. Do you think people are still angry? Bom, 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 bom. Ooh. I want to go watch the second Dune movie, guys. I haven't seen it yet. Loran's currently uh, out of town for a couple days. Is it? Hmm. I have never gone to the cinema by myself. I've never gone to the movies by myself. But there's one pretty close by, and obviously they're playing Dune 2 tomorrow. Am I an absolute loser if I go to the movies myself? Just by myself? Or is that, like, actually amazing? I don't know how this works. You've gone millions of times? Well, that doesn't prove anything. Oh, I mean, sorry, bro. No, sorry. You're a winner as well. Sorry, Rumba, sorry. Solo movies is god tier? What if I go to the movies by myself and I'm like, Oh, this is way better. 
<laughs> How does that work then? It's like, no, 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 no. I'll go by myself. I go to the movies by myself sometimes. I go to the movies by myself sometimes. That way you don't have someone talking to you during the movie. Laurent never talks during movies, dude. Never. Sarah Muadib. <laughs> My life for a racket. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of beautiful. Let me see, actually. So there's two there's two cinemas where like in the city I live in. Um, let's see. What time do they have tomorrow? Let's see. No, talking during during movies is not is not okay, dude. Or like people that somehow use their phone and it seems always on like maximum brightness while you're in the cinema. Like what the fuck are you doing, man? Like there's just this fucking like glowing like rectangle, couple rows down. What what are you doing right now? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the kind of stuff that does bother me greatly. Yeah. There's a Kung Fu Panda 4? The hell? Dune Part 2. They're playing it tomorrow at three different time slots. Alright. Oh wow, a lot of seats are already sold out. What the hell? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me uh, check the other one. Kung Fu Panda 4 is fantastic. Local booking cinema tickets. Look, I'm just planning my tomorrow, okay? Calm down here. Isn't this why you guys are here? Aren't you here to watch me schedule what I'm gonna do tomorrow? What's going on, Eunuch? Thank you very much for the Prime sub. I'm even getting paid for it now, Peter. Are you seeing this? Your favorite Kung Fu Panda 4 song? Wait, you have a tier list? Can we go with you, Loco? Absolutely. I can't figure out if Screen X is a scam or if it's worth it. Like, I watched a movie in Screen X. It's the one with, like, the, the screen things on the left and on the right. I, I couldn't quite figure out if it was worth it. How do we feel about these different, like, upselling things that cinema use these days, guys? What about, like, IMAX? Is that worth it? I think we've all decided that 3D is a bit lame. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 3D is kind of alright. IMAX is worth it. It's all useless. Dolby Cinema 3D Surround. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, at what point is it not worth it anymore? We have one as well close by that has those moving chairs and stuff. I kind of... I, I don't know, man. Get popcorn and candy and soda, too. I rarely get popcorn and candy and soda at the cinema, dude. I wonder what the ratio of people in Dutch cinemas is that, like, take snacks that you're not allowed to inside. Because they're also not allowed to check your bags. And I swear every t every single time I'm there, I hear, like, loads of, like, I don't know, packets of crisp and, like, all kinds of shit, just people opening it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You think about 420%? We would never do that, Loco. Right. They check bags all the time? Wait, where you're at, Valestras? I don't think they're allowed to check bags over here. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, obviously they can ask you, but if you say no... I mean, I guess they could decline you entrance or something. Are you in Indonesia? It is not the norm in the Netherlands to ask somebody to check check your bags. That, uh... Dutch people have a weird thing with privacy. What's going on, uh, Mr. Echo Steel? Hello, hello. I heard in some news they're not allowed that anymore. Well, obviously, like, if you go to the cinema, right? And they ask you, can we check your bag? If you say yes, <laughs> it is well within their right for them to check your bag. I just don't know what the rules are if you say no. I'm not sure exactly uh, 
it also seems very time efficient time inefficient though because like the way they do cinemas over here right now i feel like there's like two people working in the entire place and they do like 10 movies at once like you know they even use the fucking honor system now for like snacks checkout so there's nobody at the snacks checkout like last time i went there's like you can like you have like a self checkout screen and stuff and you can scan your shit but i wonder how many people just take things yeah yeah they they just i guess they've determined it's cheaper to just not have anybody there it was weird yeah that would not work in the uk no it would all be gone <laughs> Maybe I just went in as like the people were having lunch or whatever. I'm not sure, but there was nobody there. It was like a self checkout. And you could just pick up stuff and leave if you wanted to. Now, I'm a good boy. I would never do that, but uh, yeah. What's going on, Breath Child? Thank you very much for the 33 months. You tip the self checkout? No, no, no. We don't tip over here. Not usually. Especially not for self checkout, man. <laughs> There's cameras, though? I guess. <laughs> but what are you gonna do at that point? Like, it's all very confusing, right? You remember paper tickets? No, 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 it's all, yeah, it's all, it's all phones now. My sister got asked for her ID at a 16 plus movie. She's 21 and showed her driver's license. The guy still checked the date and did the math on his fingers to find the year. <laughs> so she showed a legal driver's license for which you have to be 18 and the guy at the okay yeah no that makes perfect sense he must be very thorough he got he's got to make sure that it's that it's valid For some reason, it's very busy to go to the cinema tomorrow for a movie that's been running for a while already. What's the IMDb score for Dune Part 2? Let's see. Dune Part 2. Is this like is this like a well-regarded movie? An 8.9 on IMDb? Damn. That's pretty damn good. It's the it's the second half of the thing, right? Like they're not doing a part three, right? It's like it's like the, the whole story for the first book now, right? 12th best rated movie of all time. Sick, dude. I watched the first part three times now, because I'm a loser. The director does want to do a third. I'm sure he wants to, yeah. Mm, okay. Cool. Spoilers? Well, I didn't read the book. Part three will be the second book. I may have to read the second book if they do a part three. What's going on, Room Inker? Thank you for the 10 months. You wonder if they'll, they'll cover the bits that are glossed over in the books? Yeah. Dude, by the way, for those of you unfamiliar in the StarCraft community, um, there's been a lot of drama today. Because somebody has been doing this ranking over the last weeks with very elaborate decision making and using statistics, right? And he ultimately came to the conclusion that the greatest StarCraft 2 player of all time is Maru. <sighs> there's analysis, there's history, there's all kinds of stuff going on over here, man. This guy brought up graphs and shit. So he put Serral at number two, written by Meisenhauer. They have four followers on Twitter. That's kind of sick, man. Who do they follow? He probably only follows Maru. Let's see. Who who does he follow? Okay, I have no idea. He's an influencer? I guess so, yeah. Interesting. Saro apparently the number two. Guys, there's this weird obsession, okay? Now, I don't want to be a jerk about it. But I don't think the GSO code S is the highest level of StarCraft 2 anymore by any stretch. Like, it used to be in the early days of StarCraft 2 that the GSO Code S had the highest level of competition. But I don't think that's quite the case anymore. No. 
Serol's like fucking like four hundred thousand dollars in tournament earnings ahead of Maru at this point. Like it's not even really particularly close. Yeah, they did a finals, a grand finals at Katowice just a month and a half ago, and Serol won over Maru four to zero. Like, come on, man. At some point. Like, there's links over here to games played in 2018 and everything. Is he? Oh, he's not even counting Kato? He's not counting Katowice at all? Oh, interesting. Alright, well, I don't know. Yeah, why would, like, that? that's the thing, right? That's what people always say. Like, Serol should win a GSO Codes before he can be considered a GOAT. But why would Serol... Like, if you are Serol, right, and you're comfortably making, you're comfortably making hundreds of thousands every year, playing the game and winning basically against everybody, why would somebody like Serol go to Korea to play the GSO Codes? Just to prove haters wrong? Like, he doesn't give a shit, dude. Like, look at, look at this. Total price pool? If you win the GSO Codes, which is like a two-month-long tournament, is three thousand dollars three thousand seven hundred sixty eight dollars that doesn't even cover the return flight okay maybe it does but like that you know then you have to live in korea for like a long time there's no way dude the gsl code s is a really fun tournament but it's it's definitely a little overrated as far as like prestige goes nowadays it used to have a price pool literally like i don't know 20 times as big uh, it's crazy. Yeah, imagine if you're a Korean pro gamer, though. And, like, you do well in the GSO Code S, you make it to, like, the top 16. There you go. There's two seasons, I think, this year. You make 600 bucks. How are you going to do anything? Like, how how are you... What, what are you... How... <laughs> I don't even know where to start that sentence. Korea is also not a cheap place to live, man. That's pre-tax money as well. Yeah, it's... I don't know. No, that is $600 one time. That is $600 one time for one tournament. So if you're top 16 in the GSO Code S in the upcoming season, and I think it's the same one for, this, for the current one, you get $603 if you're a top 16 player. After taxes, I think income taxes in, in Korea are relatively low. But, like, I don't know what rent is like if you live in Seoul in Korea, but I can imagine it's really expensive. Like, if you have, like, a one-bedroom apartment in Seoul, how much would that cost? Obviously, it depends on the neighborhood and everything, but this probably doesn't cover a week, dude. <laughs> and then you, you have two tournaments like this a year? I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. At the same time, are the earnings of the GSL? Yeah, dude, the, the players that play GSL are really good. Like, this is not a guaranteed win for anybody. It should be a big deal that Serol became the best ever without the Pro League and Team House training that the Koreans had for years. So Serol did play the GSO Codes, by the way. Uh, or not the GSO Codes, he did play GSL versus the world. Um, so this is a tournament that they used to do where they invited, like, I think half of the participants were GSO Codes players, and then the other half were the world players, right? Um, this was a tournament that was played in 2018, GSL versus the world. Serol won that one. And then there is 2019 here as well. Serol won that one too. Like... Uh, how, how, how would Maru be considered a GOAT? I don't understand, man. I don't even want to read the article. That's the worst part about it. Like, this guy wrote this entire thing. I don't even want to read it. I, I, I don't know, man. It's just... It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. The only thing I guess that you could argue is that Maru has been playing this game professionally. This is a weird photo, by the way. What the hell is going on? Gets his cast taken off his hand? Is this how you take a cast off of somebody's hand? What the fuck's going on here? What kind of hospital are we at? 
There's a bunch of foldable chairs in the background in an upside down cardboard box. Oh, they're making a cast of his hand. Ah. Still weird. Maybe we can ask Bing. 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 Summarize this article for me in less than 100 words. Let's not save this conversation. I agree, dude. My privacy here is at stake. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on right now, bro? Guys, don't listen to this, okay? Shh. The article titled Maru Greatest Player of All Time highlights the remarkable career of the StarCraft player Maru. It details his achievements. All right. All right, cool. That was it, guys. The summary was still too long for me to finish. I do love Copilot, actually. Copilot is pretty good. Yeah, I think he's just straight up wrong, honestly. Maru is obviously really good, but I don't think he's several levels of good, especially not at the current moment. I think GSL Code S overall is overvalued. It used to be certainly the most prestigious tournament back in the day, but it slowly fizzled out over time, dude, to the point where right now... Like, I'm pretty sure if you were to ask Maru who he thinks is the greatest player in the world, he would say Serral within two seconds. Maru might say a rogue. Yeah, all these guys are also kind of trolls, so it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Yeah, we can ask Bing. Who is the greatest StarCraft 2 player in the world? Oh, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not a good question. Who is the StarCraft 2 GOAT? The greatest of all time. Here we go. That's a better question. Oh shit. This guy's bringing up MVP. He's not even bringing up Maru. Oh dude, roasted. Roasted by Bing. Serral, MVP, Innovation, and Rain of all people. Dude, he doesn't even know who Maru is. Maru who? Ask Copilot. That's incredible. What about Maru? In the grand arena of StarCraft 2, Maru's name shines brightly. Is he better than Serral? Whoa, whoa, that got really big. Comparing them directly is challenging due to different regions, playstyles, and eras. Both players have left an indelible mark, and debate over who is better remains subjective. It's not subjective, bro. Okay, what would be the easiest, most objective way to determine who the greatest player in the world is? What statistic would you use? I would say tournament earnings. Right? Tournament earnings would be the easiest one. Uh, Esports earnings SC2. Put him in a room with a knife? Who has bigger hands? Well, then Maru certainly loses. World tournaments or, or world championships won? Maru has won zero world championships. Uh, let's see. Esports earnings. There you go. Sarah's at nearly 1.5. Damn, dude. 1.5 million. It's not bad. Maru is at a measly 1.3. Pathetic, honestly. Imagine only earning 1.3 million dollars from your tournament winnings, chat. God. Kinda cringe. We should let him play a game of dodgeball. 
<laughs> Let's do an arm wrestling best of five to determine who the goat is. Do we have to pull up the picture again of Serral flexing? Here's the picture of Serral with the most intimidating flex that I've ever seen. Look at that beast of a man. Biceps popping, dude. Hey, thank you very much, Iris Glitch. Innovation still so high on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did they do that to him? I don't know. That is one of the worst photos in esports ever. A face slapping competition? Yeah, innovation's still sitting here at 800,000. It's interesting. Why would Sarah agree to that? I think the way that these photo shoots usually go, right? Is like you start off and you start off with this. You're like, and then you have to do like the folded arms. And they're like, okay, Sarah, do something cool. And they're like, okay, what do I do? He's like, do like a flex or something. And then you have the director who's like, do something like this. And Sarah's like, <laughs> and you get that. You get that weird shot, and that's the one they pick out of, like, a series of a dozen photos. <laughs> arm wrestling? You think Hero would win an arm wrestling contest in the StarCraft community? Hero would probably reach under the desk with his other hand and, you know, yeah, that's how he would win. He would pull a dirty one on you. Yeah, Protoss flares, man. Never to be trusted. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. They'll throw cheese at you? Yeah, yeah. You get too close to a player, find out he plays Protoss. Suddenly, the brie and the camembert smell makes sense. You're like, ah, oh, okay. Neep is the, yeah, the only American up there. Did life not lose his winnings? No, 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 no. They just took the titles away from him. Um. Ooh, that is a really nice shelf. Look at this nerd shelf over here. I need something like this, dude. Do I though? I have so many StarCraft things that I've just got shoved in my storage thing right over there. This is cool. Look at this. This guy has the original CDs. That is pretty cool, yeah. You need a big shelf for Warhammer? Well, the Warhammer figures are small. I was painting again, by the way, before the stream, Peter. It's been going decent. I gotta fix a couple mistakes that I made though. So apparently, Max Packs lost 0 4 to Klim in a show match that Pig organized. Okay. <laughs> Meisenhauer. My little StarCraft shrine at the new apartment? Yo, let's go, dude. This guy has a bunch of signed copies. Neep TLO special. Astrea, Lambo, Bion. Trier, Spirit, Skillis. Zest, Hero Marine, Scarlet. Showtime. Elazer. Very nice. Dude, Wardy, it's sincere. It, it, it's cutting into it's cutting into my RuneScape time. I logged in on stream yesterday just to check how long it's been since I last logged into RuneScape. And it was more than eight days. I'm sorry, man. I. You can blame Kalaris if you need anybody to blame. Time to quit RuneScape, Loco? No, 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 no. Hold up right now. I am currently reading the Horus Heresy novel. The first one? Man, I miss the old days. 
Modern TVZ, Mask Ghost, and Planetaries takes forever. ZVP for the last eight years, Skytles every single game. What? Why is this guy even watching? TVP? He actually thinks PVP is... P T TVP is kind of okay according to this guy. All right. <sighs> Nostalgia. It, uh, it hits people hard, man. Yeah, the good old days when fungal growth was instant and infested Terrans would just be your perfect version for anti-air. Ah, oh, those were the days. There's a lot of nostalgia going on lately on the StarCraft subreddit. Reddit nowadays? Zerk dominance, Protoss, Widowmines suck, Nerf, Widowmines, I lost PVZ because of you? A cycle- what? Okay, yeah, good, good, yeah. Let the Terrans and Protoss struggle amongst them themselves, yeah. Bad meme, that was not a very good meme, I agree. I think we finished Reddit, guys. We're done. The Reddit is never complete, though, without a little bit of Falcon Paladin self-promotion. That is a standard day on Reddit. This is still one of my favorite screenshots I've seen this week. So apparently this is currently on the PTR, unless they've updated it. In the 2v2 map pool, rather than adding a new map called Overgrown Facility, they've added in the 2v2 map pool Overgrowth. <laughs> Which is a one versus one map. From Heart of the Swarm. I guess they at the very least went with the Legacy of the Void version of the map. This is a map with two spawn locations. Very difficult to play in 2v2. Loco needs to make another Reddit account to post his videos to the StarCraft 2 Reddit. Honestly... I think a lot of people on Reddit think that the majority of the community is on Reddit. But I'm pretty sure there's maybe a hundred, maybe a few hundred hits on StarCraft 2. Maybe a few thousand hits. At most, every day on Reddit. Like, there's not really that many people that actively go there if you compare it to the community on its own. It's the same for, like, people only looking at Twitch numbers, man. Like, there are so many people that watch casual StarCraft on YouTube. There's there's hundreds of thousands of StarCraft views going around every day on YouTube. And for some reason, it seems I think a lot of people just assume that, like, Team Liquid is the place to be. I don't know how many people would ever... Like, I don't know. How many people go to Team Liquid? No clue, but... It really can't be that much. I guess today is a lot of Team Liquid traffic because of this uh, terrible tier list of pro gamers. So, who? Do, what is the rest of the list? What? What is the... No, bro, what? Goat number two? What? What is the? What is the other list? The list is actually terrible. How do I find the full overview? Do you think GSL Code S is overrated, Wardy? In 2024? It really is, isn't it? Am I crazy? Like, everybody still seems to assume that, like, oh, here it is. That the GSL Code S is, like, the big... Like, you, you literally run tournaments that have bigger price pools? Like, on, like, pretty much a monthly basis than the entire GSL code S. Jeez, that Santa photo was, uh, that came out of nowhere. Anyways. Rain in 10th, TY in 9th, SOS in 8th, Sue, Zest, Innovation, MVP, Rogue. I feel like deciding 10 is really hard. What was that? It's a picture of Santa over here at the bottom. Don't worry about the picture of Santa, it's okay. Um... It's just a, you know, your average Team Liquid commenter. 
I feel like a top 10 list is kind of stupid in general, though. It's good on Deadly Snake. Thank you very much. There's no dark in this list. There's no Raynor in this list either. <laughs> There's no dark? I didn't even notice there is no dark. What the fuck? Dark actually won a world championship, guys. Unlike some players here that are in first place in this list. Dark isn't in the list because he should have retired from the military two years ago and most of his result came since then. <laughs> what? Where did he write that? Did he make a statement about Dark anywhere? What a terrible list. It gets worse. It was like three weeks ago? Okay. So Dark is not in the top 10 because most of his results have come from the... F Dude, didn't he win BlizzCon in 2019? When he was like, what, 26, 25? That's not the last couple years. World Championships don't matter though, because otherwise Maru can't be number one. Right, 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 okay. Yeah, what a list. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually a wild list. It actually is kind of crazy. So Rain made it within the top 10. Because he won Home Story Cup 11 in 2015. I get it, I get it. The GOAT. Dark is 30. I think Dark is like 29, maybe 30 right now. Yeah. Dark's in this weird limbo. No, maybe he's not actually. No, he's only 28. Dude, he's only 28. Dark's in his weird limbo right now, though, where I think he has to go to the military, basically when they phone him up and they're like, yo, you gotta go to the military next week. I think he's basically waiting until the absolute latest possible moment. Basically what Zest did. So, hold up. Dark won BlizzCon. When was this? Yeah, 2019. So that is... Dude, 2019 is not three years ago, guys. So he was, yeah, it was like 20, he was, he was not that old. Yeah, fuck man. 2019 is five years ago? He should have put life in the, in the, in the list. Yeah, he should have put life in the list just to watch the shit show. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Just kick out the rain and put like life in 10th. For what he could have been, you know? Because life could have been the goat. When did life stop playing? Dude, this guy was so good. It's actually such a shame what happened. <sighs> yeah, he was so good. At least at the time. Like, it's always difficult to really judge players from their... Uh, You know, in their different eras. What happened to him? Basically, he got paid money to purposefully lose games. So there's people that do sports gambling, and they do that for StarCraft as well. And he got offered a large sum of money to purposefully lose games, and he got caught. This was a big deal back then, because it basically... You see all these cool teams like KT Rollster and all of these other teams that were very well known back in the day. Um, essentially all of those sponsors, they pulled out. So... StarCraft 2 in Korea basically uh, never was the same after that whole life incident. There's a bunch of other players that got caught up in as well. But he was by far the highest profile player. Now the argument that people make is that he was like, I think he was like 17 or 16 or something at the time. So he was just a kid, literally. And uh, yeah... They've basically kicked him out of everything. Like, he will not be able to show his face in any esports event or any esports thing ever again. Yeah. It happened as well in Brute War in the past. Absolutely. Yeah. So he got banned. Yeah, he kind of killed Korea in uh, SC2 as well. It's good on Matt. 
Thank you for the 41 months. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really a shame. But it would have been funny if he, uh, if he decided to put life in that top 10 list. Just for the memes. Here's my StarCraft shelf. Ooh. The Lego Siege Tank. It's allowed to be in there. What is in the shelf right underneath, dude? You have a lot of shelves. Like, there's a lot of nerd shelves in your home. Very cool. Mysterious Reflections. Did you post it? Ooh. Silhouette review of Shiny. Hype. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, it's the Lego Siege Tank that actually is supposed to siege up. So you have like two modes. You can actually have it siege up. He looks tall. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Docs, dude. Basically. Basically docs. <sighs> the Rise of Raynor. Behind the scene. Well... Behind the scenes with the StarCraft 2 sensation. Maybe he's a StarCraft 2 sensation, but he doesn't make it into the top 10 list of being the greatest players of all time. <laughs> well, championship or not, it's irrelevant. Wait, what? Dark's playing Battlegrounds? He is. Dark's a Hearthstone player? Yeah, apparently so, man. Speak of the devil. He's like, if I'm not the GOAT, I guess I may as well retire play some Hearthstone. I get it, man. It's a fun game. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've last done a custom campaign in StarCraft 2. After running Wings of Liberty about three dozen times in about three months, I kind of got a little tired of it. Today, we're however starting up the Enhanced Swarm mod. So, if I understand correctly, this is a new custom campaign that just recently finished, and a lot of people are saying this is fantastic. A lot of people are saying this is like their favorite custom campaign ever, which, you know, has me at high hopes, because there's a lot of really good ones. So this is taking a Rhyme's base for Nightmare Difficulty. So it should be nightmare difficulty um, that this entire series is based off of. Furthermore, Kerrigan is disabled in all the missions that aren't dungeon crawling missions where you need to have her. So nightmare difficulty, no Kerrigan. <laughs> that sounds pretty much impossible because I think it would be. They've decided to add additional passive as well as active abilities to every single Zerg unit. So some of them are going to be utterly broken, I'm sure. And on top of that, I think there's additional mutations added to units that normally don't have mutations. Like, for example, the Brute Queen. So I'm not exactly sure how this works and how difficult this is truly going to be. I also don't know if I actually installed it correctly, but I think I did. If you hit exclamation point info in Twitch chat, there should be a link. Oh, actually, no. I, I was going to put it in the link. So the mod is made by Amith, or Amith. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. There's a, um, a Google Docs with the full changelog. Yeah. So this guy has a full overview of everything that he's changed about this game. Which is 19 pages long, apparently. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm not exactly sure. I don't really want to spoil myself. Also, from what I understand, the... Order in which the missions need to be played is set. So you can't go and choose different planets, because I think it would break the game in some ways. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I think you basically have to do every mission in a set order. That's what I know. Uh, I got this one from the Discord. The Giant Grand Games Custom Campaign Manager Discord thingamajig, whatever it's called. Do we watch the trailer? I guess we'll watch the trailer. I haven't seen this in a while. Oh, 
prepare yourself for the hero Viking. Their business. Prepare your Fs in the chat. Am I crazy or did that rope of Arcturus look really rubbery, considering it's supposed to be made out of stone? That... Yeah, it had cloth physics! Jimmy? J Jimmy? Um, I don't really want to watch the other cinematics because this this storyline, the one in Heart of the Swarm, is the one that I uh, uh, I get bothered by. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to insult the story any more than I already have in the past. No, no, we're not gonna watch every cutscene. No, I like the opening cinematic though, because that one's still cool. I remember seeing that first in like 2012 or whatever, back when I was just a baby. A long time ago, dude. Okay, the Enhanced Swarm mod is active. Achievements are disabled. Ah, this campaign does not accuse me of being a cheater. That's nice. Normally, custom campaigns always uh, warn me that I'm a cheater. <laughs> Maybe it still will, I don't know. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I... Yeah, so no Kerrigan and four drop awards. All right. Stop! I didn't ask you to... Ooh, devouring ones. Not Zorklings, what's this? Welcome to the Enhanced Swarm Mod. Sentry bots are destroying the Zerglings in their pens. I can change that. This mod, okay, so this mod replaces the default Zerg strains with enhanced ones, possessing new abilities as well as adding new bonus objectives to certain missions, like this one that gives you a way to further enhance the swarm. Furthermore, this mod incorporates AI changes from Nightmare as well as some map changes I wanted to make to add to the experience. Have fun and good luck. All right. The mod uses a fixed planet order. Char will not be accessible until Xeris is complete. And Sky Gear is not available until Rainer is freed. Spoiler alert! We didn't get to that part yet, man. So the real rhyme... Okay, so the credits are for real rhyme for the Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void mods. Dave Spectre for the Aberration Green Evolution skin and the Kill Ya... Or Kill Lisa Brute Mutalisk Devourer and Guardian skins. Major Kaza for helping with automatic creep tumor spreading for allies. Christian, Dire Raven, and General for help with testing each mission. This guy is friends with a general? That's amazing. And the modern discussion channel on the GGG CCM Discord server. So this is where I download those custom campaigns. HF and GL. Not a strong start. I would say that's... Oh, wait, what? I have a limited amount of time? I didn't know that. I have 12 minutes. 
I was reading. These things are insanely good. The Viring ones have plus two base armor. And armor is half as effective against their targets. They can jump up and down cliffs. Can I, um... Yeah. I always can tell that I'm playing this mission, because this mission does not have an all-army hotkey. I know. Kerrigan, this, is not a game. this seems bad. It never is with the Zerg. Honestly, this is fine. These, <laughs> these things are insanely strong. My sub is now three pregnancies long. Very nice, dude. Congratulations, Rumble. With your pregnancies. Uh, also, I have not played StarCraft 2 in... Too long. Like, not to make any excuses or whatever, but it really has been too long. So these things are two supply each. Ha! <laughs> One group of Zerklings is two supply. This makes me very uncomfortable. I wonder if I have enough time for this mission, though, because I was standing there doing nothing. There's an expansion?! Okay. Uh Yeah, I I think I'm going to fill this mission, dude. If <laughs> I've already lost several minutes worth. Run! So this is new though. These sandbags and stuff and those hellbats in the front. Valerian, I think they like you. Your force no more personnel remain on sub level. Containment door closed. Okay. I think I have enough time. I think I'm gonna expand and then we'll go from there. I should not have made three hatcheries in the middle of the map though. So normally this map does not have any expansions. There's something here on the high ground? Don't know what that would be, but... What? There's a hydralisk that's being operated on. Enhanced cr crawler regeneration obtained? All crawlers now regenerate life twice as fast? What? Crawlers as in spine and spore crawlers? I don't know what it means, by the way. Cleansing commences in eight seconds. Like, I'm assuming Valerian finds the panic switch and then he... You know? Figures out a way for me to not uh, do this anymore. Okay, we'll continue going. These things are insanely strong. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. I don't remember. Do I actually just run in? I think I just run in. Open. Now to destroy the eradicator. I don't really like these hellbets very much. Can you guys come this way? Thank you. Oh, they're fast. Or these fire bets, rather. So I wonder how hard this campaign is going to be, though, because I can imagine that this. There's another base! Huh. I can't imagine that this is like one of the easier missions because these units are incredibly overtuned. Cliff jumping and extra armor. I just don't know if I have strong enough units, I guess. Like if I can make enough of them here in total. Those hellbats are scary. There's a bunch of links over here, but I think I can only get those from the low ground. What is Jens? We'll dance around him. Okay. Not 
additional overloads required. Okay, we'll surround them over here. So far, so good. That should be the third set of links. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Okay, so the only thing that's left to do right now is this big boy. Your forces are under attack. I'm gonna have to play this kind of slowly, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Those hellbats can be very scary, especially if there's medics in front of them. Or behind them. Alright. Uh, this was kind of hidden on the Discord server. So rather than it having its own dedicated chat channel, for some reason this particular game was somewhere else. I don't really know why. I had to look for it as well for a little while. You have to look at like the find custom game group chat or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But for some reason this one was not quite in the place where I expected it to be either, but... Yeah. Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join. No me. one was killed, guys. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying <laughs> Thank God. Utility. No one important anyways. It was just a bunch of fire bats and medics and stuff, but we don't really care about them. Just robots and a few humans, but you know, no one was killed <laughs> All right You made a mess down there, sir <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry He made his choice would you rather have a fun 92k job or a stressful 210k job? Would I rather have a fun job or a stressful job? So wait, are you trying to decide between two different jobs on the program? One that's easy, but you get 92k a year, and one that's stressful and you get 210k a year? Ay, ay, ay. It depends, right? It depends on many things. Difficult call to make, man. I have the most stressful job in the world, chat. Come on. Don't you know what I do for a living? You have no idea how difficult it is to play video games sometimes. It depends on how stressful stressful is, right? Like, if stressful means working 90 hours a week and never having any time to chill at all, it's definitely never worth it. It also probably depends a little in like what phase of life you are. Like if you have, I don't know, if you're like 50 years old and you have three kids, you're probably better off being home <laughs> and not working a million hours. But if you're in your early 20s or whatever and you feel like you have tons of energy, might not be a bad, bad idea to take the more stressful one. You have five kids and three wives? Our, our <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold, hold up right now. Hey, so I'm assuming I do get Kerrigan in this mission. Thank you, by the way, for the resub. So I think in these missions you do get Kerrigan. Yeah. Sweeping. Pushing ahead. Covering ground. Back in the cell. Oh. Let's move out. I am very tempted because I think this is just going to be the normal mission, right? I I don't think anything is going to be different in this one. I'm going to skip it. I 
I don't think it's worth just working though, all day, every day. Unless you love what you do, of course, but. Working yourself to death is not really that great of an idea. Kerrigan, before we jump, hey. Iberian tracked multiple Dominion signatures headed down to the surface. You're gonna Shut up, Horner. We have the Brood Queen, a support unit. It spawns creep tumors and can support units with ensnare and spawn brood links. I would probably go for the higher paying one on the program if it's the same hours. Obviously, it's a very personal decision, but I tend to have quite a bit of energy. <laughs> Energy is kind of what you, you yeah, right? But it's it's tricky. Low greed. I mean, basically what I'm hearing is one job, it's the same hours, right? So on the one hand, you have a job that pays 92k and then you have one with higher responsibilities that pays 210k a year. Responsibilities sound pretty cool there, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, it very much so depends, right? It is also one of those things where you could, I guess, give it a try, and if it doesn't work out, at the very least, it's on your resume that you did this and this and that at this position at this company, so it's something that transferred to another place that may be a little bit more chill. <laughs> like, when you think about it, if the one job pays twice as much as the other that you're trying to consider after taxes at the very least, I would imagine you probably end up with like twice as much. It also means you probably have to work half as long before you can technically retire, which sounds pretty sweet too, dude. But yeah, it, exactly. It also depends on where you live. If you live in the middle of New York City, I think if you make 92K a year, you're probably basically broke. <laughs> if you live in the middle of nowhere, um, Oh, you have crypto for retirement? Oh, okay, okay. Well, then you're already set. <laughs> it depends on when you got into crypto. <laughs> if you're getting into crypto at this particular moment, it's a bit of a risk, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, as we speak, it seems like Bitcoin is on its way to a new all-time peak or whatever. I don't really follow it very much, but this uh, probably is not the time to get started with that. But that is exactly also the time where a lot of people do get started with it, so... <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Now, you, sh you should generally not take your advice from streamers as far as financial advice goes. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but I do think, in general, buying high and selling low is a bad strategy for any investment. Yeah. But that seems to be what a lot of people do with crypto in particular, though. Like, oh my god, it's going up! It's still going up! Better jump in when it's already what seems to be up the roller coaster. But Scanning, <sighs> Buy high, sell low. That's my advice. Alright, no, 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 that's not my advice. Hey, so I don't have regular queens. I only have brute queens. 125 gas each. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. The first thing I need is a spawning pool. Brood Queen mutations are now available from the spawning pool? Dominion approaching from the north. Hey, I have an old army hotkey now. That's sick. I was missing that in the previous mission. So these guys have creep tumors? And ensnare? I agree, dude. They should add that to regular queens in StarCraft 2's multiplayer. This mission on Nightmare was an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Going in. Send reinforcements. The Dominion found us. They're going to hit us hard. Does it do any damage? Hold up. What exactly does Ensnare do here in this game? Because I did get... Ah, we got Spawn Brute Links from that. It's on Autocast. So Spawn Brute Link and Infest Command Center are both on Autocast. That's awesome. All right. So we get free Brutlings whenever something dies. Wait, no. Those are supposed to be my structures that help me. I don't think it's a great fight for me. But I'm hoping... 
No, that was really bad. Okay. The units are a little floaty. So I don't have Queen Inject. This is basically like the Gaunt ability from the Stormgate unit. You know, where you get free brutal <laughs> You get free infested units. Which is one of the worst mechanics you can have. Drones build five seconds faster. Creep tumors have drones. And drones have 60 more life. Creep tumors build almost instantly and time before they can be spread is reduced by 66%. Oh, that almost made it. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I guess I'll be upgrading my Zerklings. So this doesn't do any damage. No. Yeah, you can micro these things quite well. This mission on Nightmare difficulty, which is I think the last time I played it, was so hard. By the way, for those of you wondering if I'm going to be playing Legacy of the Void Nightmare difficulty, I just want you all to know that I spent time on the first prologue mission. I spent, I think, about four hours on the first prologue mission of Legacy of the Void Nightmare difficulty, and I couldn't beat it. Like, I don't know if I'm ready to commit. I do want to play it, but also at the same time, I'm like, mm, I don't know, man. I could skip the prologue missions, yeah, but that starts off with me, you know, defeating myself. I don't know if I like that idea. So I wonder if this mission's much changed. So there's trapped swarm queens. Hmm. But I also played it like, I think one day or so after it became available. So maybe, maybe they've changed a, a couple things here and there. Okay, we'll keep up these upgrades. I can get missile research, but I'm not sure what for. Okay, these guys have terrible anti-air. <laughs> but fair enough. A lot of attack waves, though. Yeah, one of the bonus objectives is over here. That is not normally where it's located. But I think I'm just gonna try and clear out the entire map and then we'll see how it goes. I don't know how viable it is. Can it live against the siege tank? No. Ooh! I have a couple of, uh, what are these then? Bile spewers! Launch a missile at the target location, dealing 30 damage, 30 for structures to all enemy units in the area? Wait, it's an AoE? Whoa, hold up right now. We require more minerals. Um On impact, the area blah 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 leaves behind a pool of acid that slows and deals damage. 75 over 5 seconds. Okay. All right, yeah, no, uh, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, there is a timer at the top of the screen, but in the previous missions, I didn't get particularly close to that. So, can I just... Watch them die? Yeah, <laughs> we can. Okay, there is an expansion over here, so that's nice. Normally, there's no expo in this location, I don't think. 
To be fair though, I have played the Wings of Liberty missions many, many times. But the other ones, not so much. So, I gotta be a little careful with how I play this out. Because I actually don't really know what is changed and what isn't. Oh my god, those things are strong. Not bad. Yeah, in Brute War, queens used to be able to fly. That's what Brenda told me. Back before the Brute Wars, I could fly. Sure, Brenda. Sure. That's what Brenda told me anyways, dude. It's very hard to know. She's, she's old and... A little delusional sometimes. Let's get you back to lunch now, Brenda. Dude, why are my Zerklings going absolutely ham? Adrenal Overload? Where did I get that? Whoa! I got a Torask! Terrifying roar, stunning nearby ground units? Okay. Do it! Give him the roar! Ready to roar! Ready to rock! Get ready to give it. I don't remember the song exactly. That was a good song though. From the first GSL codes. Ay, ay, ay. That's an old school Ultralisk. Oh, the only problem here is that the priority of the Ultralisk for some reason is higher than. Oh, look! It can walk over things. How convenient. Yeah. I've got a couple of hunter killers over here too, of course. So I can only make links here, right? I'm gonna have to transfer drones apparently. Uh, that was actually kind of a scary army though. Do I still have my ravagers? I do. There's another base over here too, so I'll be sending a drone on down to that low ground as well. I guess you can go. Fair. Do I need gas? I don't know what I need gas for, but I guess I can make it. Dude, that is a massive army. Um. Wait. Oh, I infested the command center! Oh, of course I infested the command center! I could have done that a little bit ago. Huge fight up here, though. No, no, no. Leave it alone. Oh, no. Where's my army? There they are. Hmm. Not in love with this. We require more minerals. Our forces. So I don't know what happens in 10 minutes. Yeah, I should have played this differently. That ultra is not messing around though. How much HP do you guys have? A hundred? This guy is 800. It's not bad. So why can I, um... <laughs> why can I... Mine gas? 
Dude, these pushes are actually kind of strong. There's no way spine crawlers would deal with that. What can I do with the command center? I can make... Bailings? And abominations too. Oh wow, okay. Uh, I've got a baneling just about to pop out. Right over here. Is that irradiate on my... <laughs> Alright, I've irradiated on one of my things. A little messy, but... It'll do. Did I lose those drones that were previously mining here? Dude, what a mess. So there's actually so many spellcasters here that it's quite difficult to keep track of exactly what's going on. A bunch of the spells are autocast, so that's nice. Now there's a bunch of wraiths over here? Oh my god. Are they cloaked? Was that... Was that the ghosts? Or... Are you guys detectors? No. Okay. I don't know what happens in those uh, when that timer is up. That's one of my main concerns here. We're definitely gonna have to keep our units quite spread here, though. Not a lot of time to reading uh, in, the, in this particular campaign so far. <laughs> we have six minutes. I don't think I'm gonna make it. My one Ultralisk is trying his best. This guy is a bit of a chat, though. Yeah, I should not have made those extra hatcheries. Again. Just like in the previous <laughs> mission. I did not need to make all those extra hatches. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, this deals friendly fire? Deals massive damage to allies? Yeah. Found out about that the hard way. The fuck just... Wh Was that the terrifying roar? Okay, I just lost my Torask. Uh, there is about a 0% chance I'm gonna be able to cross that bridge. I remember that bridge very specifically from Nightmare Difficulty. It was not a good time. So, Banelings deal friendly fire, apparently. That's nice to know. I could make Abominations. That might be a better idea from these command centers. Yeah. Maybe you can cheese the final bonus objective, I'm not sure. <laughs> that ability is so strong. No! Don't die. Did he die? I think he died. Yeah, the amount of attacking units is a little much here. He didn't die. He was back. I guess we'll find out what happens in three minutes. So can I make any sort of detection at all? Oh, I can make a lair. Wait, are there structures I could have been making at a lair? Normally you can't... I can make a spire? I didn't even know I could make a spire. Okay. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, wait! Maybe that three-minute countdown at the top of the screen is actually a positive. Maybe I'm supposed to be holding on this entire time. Hold out for reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. 
So, oh, the problem is I need to do this before the reinforcements arrive. Sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed here. I I should have done this. I should have done this very differently. That's why we have the mutas to try and get that final bonus objective. Okay. We've got to breathe here for a moment. I'm like a headless chicken here running around trying to put out fires everywhere. Generally speaking, the loco build order is to not read instructions in step one and then to complain that you didn't read the instructions in step two and blame the game. Yeah, that's that's usually how I do these sort of things. You think when I go to Ikea, I look at the freaking build order? No, 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 chat. We just start piecing things together. Step three is to upload it to YouTube so people like me can get wound up that he still wins. Yeah, 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 exactly. The first thing I need is a spawning pool. We playing the campaign again? Again, yeah. I've played it once or twice. Hey, thank you very much, Milk the Muffin. Research mutations for support units? What? Spawn brutelings generates an extra brutling? And snare has a 50% increased duration? Increases the movement speed of queens. Command, with Bound Kerrigan. Ah. We're going in. Ooh, okay. I did not get that. They're going to hit us hard. Cool. Do you think I can go like a flying Zork army? I wonder if I can just go into a lair and get the mutas and stuff going. That'd be fun. We require more Vespingas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We go mass... Mass Muta Queen. And then I guess... Zerklings in another control group. There's a lot of things to take uh, to take care of, yeah. Kukulza mutations are not automatically given by the Leviathan on some missions due to an unknown bug. If you encounter this issue, pick them from the hatchery, lair, or hive. Alright. Don't know what that means, but fair. Feels bad to have this many minerals. Can I already get this thing over here, you think? This seems like a bit much. Nah, no, we're gonna have to make some army. I think I'll make one macro hatchery. I think one macro hatch is probably not a terrible idea. I don't know who Kukulza is. I have no idea. It's the StarCraft 1 hero mutas? Okay. Today I learned. I wonder if the mutas are much changed as well. Okay, guys. How do you... How do I infest the command center? How did I do it? Oh, it must have 50% HP or lower. Okay, it's basically like a Pokemon. You can't start... Well, you could start throwing your Pokeballs early, but... Okay, we'll just leave the queens around there. I'll continue getting some more upgrades. Hey, I got it. I'll make an abomination too when I can make it. The abominations seem kind of fun. When will I play Pal World? I have no intention of playing Pal World. 
Also, that game is like so last month, dude. That is so last month. Yikes, dude. Kind of cringe. Okay. Get with the times, dude. Okay, I want to try and clear out this section of the map. Last month on the internet is basically last decade. I don't make the rules. So I do have a Spire done right now, but I can't make any Mutas. Is that important? <laughs> There's no selection of Mutas here at the bottom right. I can make a Spire and I'm upgrading them, but I can't make them. So I think I do have to go across the bridge. Do it the hard way. I think it may just be for upgrades. These abominations are huge, man. Yeah, they can walk over smaller units. Cool. Have I played Half-Life? About half my life ago I did. No, I did play Half-Life. I'm actually pretty excited for 2024 because I think, I think, yeah, we should be, we should be seeing it soon. Half-Life 3. I think it can come out any moment now, really. Pretty excited for it, dude. We can to finally find out. Yeah, yeah, no, it, sh it should, it should come out any moment now. I think it'll come out on the same day as uh, Portal 3, Starcraft 3, Warcraft 4, Silk Song. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure it's any moment now. Diablo 4 will be out soon, I'm sure. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Actually, hmm. Oh, I accidentally killed the command center. Diablo Immortal 2? Dude, I'm excited for Diablo Immortal 2. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay. I should definitely be spreading creep tumors around, though. Can I spread creep on... No. I was wondering if maybe I could spread creep in locations where there was no creep at the moment. I know in some of these campaigns you can. The Overseer is like a very large, obvious place. To, uh, hmm. To see exactly where it detects and where it doesn't. It's kind of neat. I don't think they're gonna attack me over there anymore, are they? the section right in front of the bridge. That was my best impression. I think it was pretty good. This is where my ultralist comes out. That's where 
she said? Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, Nook, too. I had not thought about morphing in more combat units, but now that you bring it up, I will go ahead and give it a try. I don't want to lose these Ravager things, though. These Ravager things are amazingly strong. Good. I got another command center. Oh, they're actually just attacking straight over here. Okay. So all I need to do right now is protect in front of the bridge, because that's where all the units come from. In case you're unfamiliar where units come from, they come out of bridges. Just like babies. That's how it works. Um, so I have 10 minutes to get the biomass from this particular thing. I don't know how reasonable that is. Well, I'm pretty much maxed out, I guess. Um, I guess I'll save it and we'll just go. I could use dropper lords, I can do a bunch of things, but I wonder how well I can just attack move. Like it is a Zerg campaign after all. Oh, that's the roar. Do I even need the... <laughs> Do I even need the reinforcements? Okay, I was actually kind of thinking that maybe this was gonna be a super hard campaign. Because that previous attempt did not seem to be the cleanest. Uh, one of the bonus objectives, however, is to hold out for the Zerg reinforcements. And I need to sit here for another eight and a half minutes. Um... I blew up my command center. Oh, did I attack move on my own command center? I didn't realize that part. I'm not used to dealing with infested... Ooh, step zirkling was stuck. Um, I'm, I'm not used to dealing with... Uh... Okay, so one of my bonus objectives is uh, seven and a half minutes away. I did the mission a little quicker than I was supposed to. <sighs> I'm not sure if this affects anything, but I really do want to get all the bonus objectives. Because sometimes these missions do give you additional things when you get all the bonus objectives, guys. Trust me, Loco, it does nothing. Just trust me, bro. We can work on our creep spread. It's not very good at the moment. Miniature review? Oh, you guys want to see the miniature that I've been working on? I mean, it's still the same one. But I can show you. It's in the under room. One sec, one sec. Mineral field depleted. It doesn't look that much different, though. Because um, I've just been working on the details and stuff. But I'm pretty happy with how this one is going along. Um, this is, I think, about my fifth or sixth or so mini. I'm not exactly sure. 
It's invisible? Focus, camera, focus. Yeah, it's a bit awkward with, like, um, the depth of field. I'm very happy now with the cloak. The cloak was kind of a pain in the butt when I first started with it. Happy with how the wings turned out as well. Uh, this is an Age of Sigmar unit, yeah. I don't really know anything about the game, though. I don't really care about playing the game, but... Um, I did a little bit, actually, before I started the stream today. It's mostly just highlights, like silver highlights, and... I filled in the gems on our gear, as well as on the weapons. It's kind of tricky, because there's, like, gems as well on the other side of this weapon, for example. And, like, on the other side of the... Like, it's everywhere. So, I look at it, right? I'm, like, painting these things, and I'm like, ooh. There's a lot of room for improvement, but then when I show it on stream, when I look at the thing on screen itself, and you don't see it, like, from this distance, it looks a whole lot better. Anyways, that's what we're currently working on. I'm kind of, kind of far down the rabbit hole at this point, though, as far as miniature painting goes. Because, like, I'm already looking at different armies I can paint. I don't really care so much about armies, I guess. I care about individual units. So there's a lot of people out there that actually play the game, right? Like the actual tabletop game, and they pay the entire army that they want to play with. But I don't really care about playing the game. I kind of just want to paint individual units that I think look really cool. And um, I can't decide which one I want to do next. I, I can't figure it out. Yeah, I guess, I guess, as, as, like, the painter, you're the one that notices all the little mistakes you make, right? That makes a lot of sense. The worms are tunneling to you right now. My brood will be there soon. In the cosplay world, there's a 10-foot rule. Right. I think, I think in this one, it would maybe be, like, a 10-inch rule or something like that, Nolan. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Because, like, it's really easy to be there too close and be like, oh, my God. I'm, for example, I did I did the eyes, or I tried dabbing in a little bit of a black contrast paint in the eye sockets. Now, I don't even know if you can see the fucking eye sockets, because they're tiny. But they're not they're not quite as tidy as I would like them to be. It's little things like that, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, ah, I can do a better job. And I will fix them. It's just a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, you, you gotta... You gotta decide at some point that you're done with it, if that makes any sense. The 10 inch rule. Yes, guys. What do you mean? <laughs> For those of you that paint miniatures, I'm actually very curious to hear what your favorite model is. Because there are a lot of really cool models that they've come up with over the years. It's quite tricky to decide what to paint. How do you repair it? Well, you can strip the entire paint if you want to, but generally speaking, when you make a mistake, you just relayer over it. But at some point, there is um, there's too much paint, right? So like, if you do too many layers, at some point, it kind of reduces and destroys some of the details. You love Iona's Cryptborn? Oh yeah, that one I did see. That one looks insane, dude. This one, right? Yeah. That is a really cool looking model. I also don't really want to go too far, though. I think I want something a little easier than this one, because I think I actually went a little bit too far into the deep end of the pool with that one. But I'm happy with how it's going. But... I'm still a bronze league, you know? They have a lot of cool dragons. Okay, here's my second or my third bonus objective. It's actually insane how quickly I did this mission, dude. <laughs> I was so far ahead. Oh, we were in a rush before Jim arrives? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Alright. Well, let's kill the final objective point then. We did it, guys. Thank you, Naktu, for your reinforcements. That really came in super handy. Made all the difference. That was really difficult, man. Is 
For those of you, by the way, that are into mini painting, I did open a Discord chat channel for this. So if you guys are into miniature painting, you should join the Discord server and change a bunch of your... Uh, or show a bunch of your work. There's some people that have made some really cool stuff, actually. It's very nerdy, but... Even Nuke is participating. He posted this meme earlier. FBI agent denied budget needed to infiltrate leftist Warhammer group. <laughs> yeah, hi, FBI. Yeah, it's me. Hey, about the infiltration, uh, I'm gonna need a budget for a Mars pattern warlord titan. A uh, titan, it's definitely necessary to uh, gain their trust. Also, I need a new airbrush compressor. <laughs> That's a great headline. They denied his budget immediately. I don't have an airbrush. No, I do not have an airbrush. Yet. No, I, I don't. I, I do not. I do not have an airbrush. Yet. Yet. I, do, I don't. I don't really have the setup for it yet. So I um. I don't currently own a, an airbrush yet. No, I don't have an airbrush. But I heard airbrushes are pretty fun. People do use special miniature paints, yeah. But you could probably do regular acrylics if uh, you prefer not to. Oh, I can do a little bit of choosing here where I want to go. Wait, I can't? Oh. My vibrator? Look, it's not a vibrator, chat. It's a paint stirrer. Lorenz been making fun of me for this thing. I showed it yesterday on stream, but for those of you that weren't there... It's a very useful little device that allows me to stir paint. Um, it basically creates a vortex inside of the, uh, the, the, the paint bottle. Here, look, it's, it's really good, okay? So, look, I was following along with this YouTube video, right? So I have to get Griff Charger Gray. And mine kind of separated inside of the little bottle. So I got this paint stirrer, the Vortex paint stirrer, and then... It, um... It works really well. It works really well, actually. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could go here already, but I can't. I need to finish Caldera and Zerus. It works really well. Wait, Balspoor is gonna be one of my basic units? Shut up. Dude, these things are insane. Those were the ones that like left that thing on the ground that dealt damage over time. I got it for about 20 bucks on Alibaba, guys. Yeah, that's pretty great. Somehow they managed to ship it in from China in like four days time. How in the world do they do that? I have no idea. I always love that. It looks sick. Alrighty, my favorite character in the entire campaign. There he is. What are you? Abathur, Evolve Swarm, Spin Strands and Sequences. Served Overmind, then served Queen of Blades. Why did they make his mouth vertical? I am the Queen of Blades. Hmm, I don't know. Evolved Zerglings much more efficient. So wait, I can change my devouring ones already? Oh, I don't have to do the actual mutation mission. Mutations available. Once chosen, will activate sequences within creature. Improve combat potential. Mutation choice, not permanent. So Can these guys... These guys are already insanely strong. And I can make them even stronger? Like, I can give them an additional plus one base armor? I can give them Adrenal Overload and Pillaging Claws? Devouring ones have a 25% chance to steal two minerals and one gas every time they attack a structure? <laughs> What?
Is that good? I don't know if I need that, but that is something to keep in mind. I feel like Adrenal Overload would be insanely good. Salt-serving, lemon juice allergy, weakness in strain. Yeah, do it, Abathur. Hardened Carapace is also good, though. Those are all good. I think I'm gonna go Hardened Carapace just to make really tanky Zerklings. We'll see how it works. <sighs> Ask Abathur about the paint mixer. It's not a vibrator, chat. It's a paint mixer. Come on. It's really good. Your ex has a lot of paint mixers too? Really? Is she into miniature painting? That's awesome, man. This moon has pockets of intense cold called flash free. Here's my devouring ones. Devouring ones cost 20 mi less minerals and morph 33% faster. Dude, these guys are insane. Her essence. These are the most cracked up zerklings ever. Oh my god. Didn't even take damage. Okay, no, he did actually. He did lose one HP. Oh, never mind. Zerg is feral. It is not under the control of any higher entity. Oh, you could win this campaign with just Zerklings, I'm sure. Unless you need anti-air at some point, but these units are mental. The flash freeze is near. I just have to find an Ursodon matriarch. Bowspewers regenerate extremely quickly compared to other Zerk units, healing 20% of their maximum life per second. Hey, so by the way, your ex was into miniatures? Hmm. Oh, never mind. Uh, can move at full speed while burrowed. Burrowed regeneration rate is increased by 100%. <laughs> so now they regenerate 40% of their life a second? Also, I just realized that Ravagers have really long noses. Have you guys ever seen a like a video of like a happy baby elephant and he's like going around and he's like, yeah Are you a ball spewer or are you just excited to see me what's going on? Mm. Anyways New intel. Unique the roach mutation detected among the feral zerk. If collected, Balspewers may be adapted to infect their targets with parasite. Feral roaches, most likely in hiding, use overseers to detect. Oh, I need an overseer. All right. Look how strong these things are. What the hell? My zerklings won't really die. I can actually almost micro individual links now. Essence assimilated. Swarm resistant to flash freeze. Excellent. And now I can sense Nefasha's hive cluster nearby. That's hot. Injured roaches able to burrow. Regain. Is that a frozen overlord? Nefasha's brood. The Protoss must have wiped them out. I'll awaken this hive cluster for the swarm. Wakey wakey. I'm sure there's going to be extra expansions again everywhere. That seems to be the general, the general rule. Matriarch essence nearby. If collected, swarm can become more efficient in flash freeze. More efficient? That's hype. Like an efficient swarm. Yeah. If I have a chance, I will hunt down. If I had to. Dude, look how powerful these things are. The cooldown is very low on that ability, but I've already basically killed everything. Can I win with just ball spewers? 
I mean, I did a lot of damage just now. Protoss just cover the entire base. Flash freeze approaching. The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. They don't seem very defenseless to me, if I'm being honest with you, uh, Kerrigan. Is that a uncloaked Dark Templar? That's cursed. I don't know if it stacks. I'm assuming it doesn't stack. My rapid fire doesn't seem to be working. Did I, um... Loco grit, but not the latter one. Loco don't use this one unless it's really wrong. Okay, these are good names. My new video is up? Very good, guys. Flash freeze now ending. <laughs> so strong. One down. Even if you destroy our spires, we will get word to Shakuras. Who made those names? I don't know, dude. Probably some idiot. It was me. I made that name. So these things are expensive, though. Yeah. Hello? Burrow. Wait, I activated that with a creep tumor? Oh, I think my, uh, my, um... Rapid fire is working. It's just the cooldown is long. Yeah, my rapid fire is working. Our are under so these guys can actually. Huh. The fact that they can burrow on the ground and just survive. Can I can I survive siege time? Oh, okay, let's see. Photon cannon shots. These guys regenerate HP. Yeah. Flash they regenerate HP at 40% a second. That's very reasonable. I'm just saying I think they should give that to roaches in multiplayer. What is what is this? Remove from the army select? Oh shit, that's cool. Our hmm. advantage. Destroy the Protoss. We must place that on creep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. They should implement that in ladder. Yeah, on the ladder. Absolutely. I agree. Okay. The flesh freeze does make it a little harder to see what's going on. Flash freeze now ending. Loco, take your time. There's no rush. I'm I'm not rushing. I'm just this fast, bro. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not rushing though. In, in the previous missions, we did have a... Um, we did have a couple of objectives that we needed to get there for, but we needed to get there early. But not so much in this one, it seems. <laughs> I'm just gonna go mass bile sweeper. These things seem insanely strong. Very fun. I'm a ball sweeper kind of guy. Whoa. 
Did I not take the bonus objective? Oh, I actually have to go a little further. Okay. The Corsair is actually fully stunning me. It's not just the disruption whip, it's also just a full stun, it seems. It's mostly their ability, though, that's insane. Ah. I think I actually just made too many workers. I don't think I need that many. I think this is only accessible... Do I have to go Zerklings for this, or can I get there from the other side? I guess I'll make a round of Zerklings. Okay. Oh, it's the Centurion! Oh, the Centurion was stunning me. Ah, I see. That is suboptimal. Yeah, I can go up to the high ground here. Although I don't think it's intended. <laughs> The flash freeze is ending. There's an invisible wall. A creature is under attack. Spawn more overlords. <gasps> Dude, I love these ball spewers. That's amazing. <sighs> What's the name of the character announcing the flash freeze? Uh, it's Isha. It's like the StarCraft 2 Voldemort equivalent. Because she doesn't have a nose. Zeratul? Okay, yeah, I think it's Zeratul actually. Yeah, there's a random comment center over here. I'm not sure exactly what the roach or what that comment center is doing up there, but I guess we're gonna try and find our way. What? What the hell's going on? <laughs> there's a Zerg drop suddenly coming in. Okay, I think I got him. I think I killed him pretty hard. In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. So I can't go for a lair, but I can't actually make anything out of it. I don't know if, by the way, this thing's... Oh, it pops! It pops force fields too. That's beautiful. It's a little hard to see what's going on sometimes, but... wonder if it hits air units too. I would imagine it does. How do I go up there, though? Not sure. Hey, thank you, Odie Younger. Hope I didn't absolutely butcher your name. Thank you very much for the support. God, it is so satisfying. Okay. Make the map purple. Temporarily, anyways. Oh. It's a run by. There's a bunch of Dark Templar over here, too, which is quite annoying. I could try and bile him. Oh, uh, my bile spewers are on cooldown. Yep, there they are. <laughs> okay, I didn't get them all. Maybe I got now. I got him now. Yeah, I got him now. Oh. 
storm approaching soon. I do love the ball spewers. I don't love their selection priority though. For some reason the brute queen is taking priority over here at the bottom of the screen when I all army hotkey. Now I could simply decide not to all army hotkey. But I play campaigns. So I can have fun and chill, you know? Now I know what some of you are thinking. Huh? Playing StarCraft 2 for fun? Huh? Is that even legal? I know, I know. Yeah, I would have to uh, use discipline in order to like create hotkeys. That sounds like a lot of effort. What do you define as fun? Um, well, losing on the ladder can be quite frustrating. Whereas in this campaign, it feels like I can't really fail while playing very overpowered Zerk units. I mean, still not easy though. Oh my god. Thank you, Hero Spine Crawler. Come on, Zerklings. Okay, they're here. Okay. Gotta go around the corner here this way. Oh, I may run out of money, though. I don't know how much, um, how many resources there are in total in any of my bases. But I may have to take this expansion here as my own at this rate. Because these minerals, eh, there's still a little bit remaining. Probably like another five minutes or so. Oh, fuck me. No! I think we're good. Easy, not even close. Did lose a lot of drones for it though. Which does seem a little suboptimal. Okay. 72 HP. On the lair. I don't even know where those Dark Templar are coming from. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> okay, fine. How do I even get up to the northern section of this map? I think I may need flying units, but my only flying units in this mission are Brute Queens, right? Like, don't I have... Do I have anything else that is a flying unit? Oh, maybe I can use Dropper Lords. That feels very risky, though. These units are thick. Okay. I'm actually running out of money. We should retreat until the next storm hits. I don't even have that many units anymore. There is an expansion over here, but it's literally in the middle of a Protoss base. Which I find suboptimal as far as locations go. But maybe I shouldn't complain. I lost so many units here though. Yeah, I just lost so much supply. Um. So this is where those attack waves are coming from. I probably should have gone for this location on the map first, to be honest. Like, I could have gone here with like one massive doom drop, at which point life would have been much easier. Maybe I should have dropped Zerklings as well. I think Zerklings probably would have done a better job. Uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of Zerklings right now. You guys get rallied over here, please. And we'll bring in some new dudes. 
I can make an army of changelings. Yeah. These things should work quite well. Okay. I may need to uh, drop a bunch of drones in that location of the map too. Try and take their base. Oh shit, this is... Oh no, I killed one of my own. Suboptimal play. Okay. You guys go over here. Kind of hard to see what's going on, but I think I'm winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we have a new base. I wonder if I could... Um, Can I buy all these things? Oh yeah, I can. Ooh, alright. That actually worked out much better than I thought it was going to. Did my drones arrive? Here they are. Dude, they've already pretty much mined out the whole base! Yeah, I should have gone here early. Yikes. Is there something over here? What is this- what is this command center doing here? Can I go over here? There's another base! What? What is this command center doing here? There's a random command center. This explains where those Dark Templar have been coming from, guys. There's literally a base in my backyard that I didn't know about. I guess I could have infested this command center. After I killed it, I cannot. <laughs> but I could have! Okay, alright, we have another base. I think I made this map as hard as possible. Which is really kind of sick. What's going on, Kedish? Your first time on my stream? Hello, hello. How are you doing today? So the entire maps seem to work out a bit differently than they uh, usually do. At least I don't remember the map layouts like this. That's not to say that they are necessarily changed, but at the very least that I don't remember. Okay. At least there's a lot of gas. Okay, 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 okay. So, got a new base, guys. That is nice. We should wait for a flash freeze before attacking this heavily fortified location. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't seem like fresh freezes, flesh freezes rather really do much. I'm just allergic to being uh, neighbors with a Protoss player. Have you guys ever met Protoss players? Thanks for the content. Hey, it's Crendelicious. Your subscription is Crendelicious, dude. I don't even know what that means, but... Appreciate that. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna chill here for just a moment. I know my extra drones here have arrived. 
My gas is being mined over there. Mostly because then I don't feel guilty for the amount of time that I spent in securing that base. Okay. Did I blow up all my money? I, I did definitely waste a bunch of my uh, my resources in this mission. Yeah. We require more. Flash freeze. Under attack. The thing is, the enemies get infinite unit spawns, it seems, for free. Brendalicious? Ooh, that's a good name. That sounds like my next letter account name. Brendalicious. No. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Flash freeze is passing. I, um, I wonder if I should restart this. I kind of feel like I need to. Because I have basically no units. And that's not a whole lot. The fact that there was an expansion right below my main base was an important bit of information that I did not know. Yeah, these units are not actually very tanky. And their cooldown is very long, so even though their abilities are very powerful... Uh, I don't think I have enough. Is that a Reaver? Pillaging Zerklings actually would have been really good in this mission, which is funny. Because I didn't really think it was that great of an ability. I mean, it seemed decent to me. Okay. Let's try and just make a whole lot of army and push for this bonus objective thing. I don't really know what it gives me, but there's a chance it gives me free units or something, you know? That would be nice. In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. Free money is bad? Well, that's not what I'm saying. I just didn't think it was going to be as good as an additional plus one armor. Speaking of free money, though, did you guys know that if you have Amazon Prime... No? Alright, alright, okay, fine. I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't do it. Flash freeze. No, 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 no. I was almost going to bring up the fact that you can subscribe and stuff using Prime. But it's not nearly as good as it once used to be, so, you know. This is the enhanced... Ooh. Oh, I tried burrowing it, but he was... Cloaked. This is the enhanced swarm campaign. That is the name. Flash freeze is passing. Oh my god. They're all tech waves are huge at this point. Okay. I'm gonna spend my money and then we'll make a move for it. I don't know if I have enough. My damage output is pretty amazing, but... Oh, you guys are taking a different approach to going here. They they tanked this up with static defense. Oh my god, I didn't realize they actually built that much. No, we're gonna have to redo this one. I'm gonna change the... Um... The flesh freeze doesn't do anything though, does it? The flesh freeze just... Is there, but they still attack. We're gonna do Pillaging Claws. I'm gonna give that one a try, that seems pretty fun. 
It slows them down? Right, right, right. That's true, but... It's not nearly as good as the flash freeze in the regular campaign. It turns them blue. That's the biggest difference I've noticed. Look, is Ireland worth a vacation? As the representative of the beautiful country of Europe. I don't know. I've never been. I have to find an Ursodon matriarch and get her essence. This Zerg is feral. It is not under the control of any higher... Salt? <laughs> You love the country of Europe? I mean, it's not America, but it's alright, I guess. Corpser strain implants motioning parasite erupts from enemy's corpse. Must acquire, destroy Protoss. <laughs> you got that right, Loco. Hell yeah, brother. The flash freeze has arrived. Your troops are frozen. These Ursodon, led by Matriarch, strong essence. Once local essence assimilates... You've traveled a lot to Europe, but never Ireland, Scotland, or England? I think Scotland is pretty sick. It's just hard to uh, understand the locals. Not known as the locos, though. Understanding the locos, generally not that hard. Excellent. Like, I went to Scotland a bunch of times and I thought I spoke pretty good English. And then I had to talk to uh, Scottish people. And I was like, what? Are you guys? Oh yeah, they are speaking English. <laughs> it just takes a bit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Goon, for the subscription. I appreciate that. Okay, um, I'm gonna kill my natural expansion. This one right over here, and then we're gonna take the base down south. And I will also be making additional queens and stuff to go for the base up north. I think that's the play. If I have a chance, I will hunt down some matriarchs. I'm sure, I'm sure Ireland is nice, yeah. England is kind of nice too, though. It's very different, obviously, but... They have some pretty amazing places. You like lakes? Well, they have a lot of those in uh, Scotland, for sure. Some even say that they have dinosaurs inside of those lakes, dude. It's incredible. The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. Your wife wants to go to Europe this year or next year? Any recommendations? I honestly, uh, like most people just go to the cities, right? That seems to be like the standard Euro trip. I'm not sure what the best place to visit is though. I haven't been that many places, I guess, myself. I mean, I have been to a bunch, but... Not enough to be a tour guide, I'm afraid. You've been to the city of Switzerland? Switzerland's insane. Dude, some of the... some of the mountains and just areas that they have in Switzerland is just ridiculous. I was um I was reading about J.R. Tolkien some time ago. And there's this place in Switzerland that he based Rivendell off of. Cause apparently he did like a trip to like to, to Switzerland at some point. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. That place looks insane. He went there in 1911. Um I'm forgetting the name of it right now. Lautenbrunn? Something like that? Yeah, it could be. Lautenbrunnen? Or Lauterbrunnen? Yeah. Switzerland just casually has loads of places that kind of look like this, you know? I mean, this is clearly a very uh, 
enhanced colored photo. But there's lots of little valleys like this where you're like, what? How do... <laughs> this is so pretty. <laughs> How does this just... People just live there? Yeah, it's pretty insane. But obviously, uh, Europe is pretty big. The Netherlands is not nearly as pretty as far as nature goes. Yeah, just an average Swiss town. Switzerland's so expensive, though. It's actually wild. We have great nature in the Netherlands, like in Flevoland. Flevoland's amazing. I mean, there are some nice looking places in the Netherlands too, but... It's nice in the sense of like, oh cool, this is something humans built like 500 years ago. Levels of nice, if that makes sense. It's a different, it's a different type of nice. <laughs> oh look what humans used to build back in the day. In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. We require more Vespine gas. Germany has some pretty sweet places too, absolutely. Like Krefeld. Most beautiful city in Germany. Okay. When the fresh freeze, yeah, is here, we're gonna go ahead and move on over to this natural. The flesh freeze is still powerful. So this should allow me to take this base. Okay. Gonna take the expansion over there. And then we're gonna be making a move on down south. I'm thinking about going across already at this point, but I don't know how reasonable that is. Do I get money here, by the way, for killing structures? I think so. But it's also maybe because I live in the Netherlands, you know? Like, I guess you tend to not appreciate the place you live in as much as other people that may be coming in would. If that makes sense. Like, I have a hard time imagining traveling across the world to go to Amsterdam. But, you know, people do it all the time and they seem to love it. <laughs> so, you know. Maybe it's a little different. Like, I can't imagine if you grow- like, if you- if you live in New York City or you grew up there, you're like, yeah, whatever. What's the big deal? My wife visited the Netherlands. She said it's paradise? Really? I mean, I like the Netherlands, don't get me wrong. I just, you know, I wouldn't travel for going here, if that makes sense. <laughs> It is a nice place. In general, things are pretty well managed. Flash freeze storm approaching soon. But it's also one of those things where a lot of people will judge the Netherlands based off of their visit to Amsterdam, you know? Like, that's the entire country. Amsterdam is a bit of a different place. It's not your average a city, I guess. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna save it here. We're gonna try and make a move for the base at the bottom. Amsterdam is extremely touristy, yes. Oh wow, at this point in the match, this base is not even taken. It's not even taken. It's just free. Flash is 
Huh. That's funny. Okay. I want to spread creep everywhere so they can't build. Okay, yeah, yeah, I will. Bonus objectives will increase your power level. Kerrigan is not in this mission, dude. Wait, is there a Dark Templar? I can't make a lair! Oh, I have a Spore Crawler, okay. Didn't know I had a Spore Crawler. We require more that would have been nice to know. Loco, you're the queen? Oh, snap! She's talking about me! Yes, queen. She's right. I am a queen. I don't know what that means, but she wants to increase my power level. It's basically Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta, what's the scouter say about his power? That's me. I'm aiming for nine thousand, at least. Okay, I think we're gonna go for that base up north. We'll set our reinforcing location right over there. We're gonna do a big, big drop to the top section of the map. Trying to bring a bunch of Zerklings. We're gonna save it here, right before I do this trope. I know, crazy idea. I don't think the Zerk over here are affected at all by it, right? I wonder if there's less static defense over there right now, too. Oh. There's another section over here that I did not really consider. Are you guys okay here? I don't know if I can win that fight. My Zerklings are pretty strong though, it seems. They're just expensive. Matriarch essence useful. Visibility during flash freeze increased. That was still a very dangerous move, wasn't it? Don't know if it's even really worth it. He just killed my lair. Yeah, that's a lot of money gone. Okay. I don't even really know if I need to kill this, but it'd be kind of nice. So, there's once again Dark Templar here. And I have no detection. If I don't look at it, my problems will automatically go away. These are the rules that I live by. This base is so difficult to kill, dude. It's so pricey. I don't even think I really need to kill it. It's just that I did it in the previous run. I think I'm gonna just... Yeah, let it be. We'll just let it be. Because I don't think they just fight me. I'm pretty sure those other Zergs are going after the Protals too. So, like, I kept taking them out, but I really don't need to. I'm fairly sure I can just let them do their own thing, and I will just get benefits from them. The enemy of my uh, enemy is my ally? Something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but... Flash freeze 
storm is fading. Okay. So maybe that's why that base is so well protected, because you're not really supposed to take it out. I made a few detectors here, so we're done with that. Dude, I went to Facebook earlier today. Facebook in 2024 is a really fascinating platform. Like, nobody I know really still uses the platform. So all I see on there is, like, random updates of things I don't care about. Like, I saw a notification this morning about Zuckerberg updating his profile picture. And the responses on Zuckerberg updating his profile picture are amazing, dude. There's a lot of people there that are... Responding to those those things like it's 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 beautiful. I can't even explain it to you guys like you would have to see it in order to believe it Oh, I do actually have to kill the base for that corpse thing. Hmm, maybe I'll do it later You go to Facebook Warbringer nice Storm approaching soon. There were a bunch of posts about like Mike Tyson boxing or something. It's like I don't really care, but okay. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. <laughs> you know what those guys are boxing for, guys? Money. Yeah. Bro, if I could make as much money boxing as they did, oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna be me versus Harstam. Next UFC match. Everything's allowed. No gloves. It's gonna be hype. We we'll have a pre-show. Rotterdam versus Euthermal. Oh, how are you going here? You compete in the KFC? Ooh, that's nice. I should probably do this a little differently, huh? Those Dark Templar hit very hard, yeah. We're gonna sit here and just make a bunch of army first. I have so much money here that I don't really need to do much, but I'm also a little afraid of just spending it all, because I will probably run out of cash here before too long in this entire mission, which is a funny dilemma to have. Because your bases do run out. So this is a bit different than multiplayer, where you actually want to spend all your money ASAP. Yeah, there is a command center up there. I guess I can make a little loop around. See if there's anything exciting that I can actually make out of it. The queens do seem quite powerful. How'd you guys get over here? I'm not sure. Do I have to do anything special? I don't think so, right? I think I just get it automatically. Okay, we're maxed out now. Flash freeze will be here soon. Okay, I have this base. But what's the point of this base? Can I fly it? Oh, I can fly it! Oh, that's a move. I can move it over here. Yeah. The Protoss forces are now frozen. Okay, we're going that way. Spreading the creep forward. It's kind of hard to see what's going on here because of all these graphics, but... 
I think I just lost everything to like one reaver. That I would say is suboptimal. Clearing this map is actually not easy. I mean, I have so much army. I guess I should make a bunch of Evo chambers and just max them out. That is one thing I did forget about. Oh, there's a base over here. Um, I think I'm gonna give this a moment though. Yeah, we'll be back with the next flash freeze. We're not really in a rush. And this is a little bit messy. Well, I mean, most of my damage comes just from having the units. I don't think the upgrades are quite as important here, but this is obviously late. All these units hit so hard as it is. Oh wow. <laughs> the annihilators are boosting down. All my stuff. Okay. Yeah, I have a massive bank here. So I shouldn't be running out of cash, but I'm still gonna keep pushing every one of these uh, moments that I can. Okay, that base is being taken care of. There's a Void Ray. Massive pillar in front of my screen, very useful. <laughs> Looks like this base is taken care of now. There's a bonus objective ah, that I should have picked up already. You guys go and fight them, please. I'm gonna take this expansion. It's no use, will destroy. Okay. Yeah, so they don't rebuild on creep ever. So as long as you have a bit of creep spread, it seems to prevent them from rebuilding. This area apparently can't be creeped up. We need to go and kill that expansion up north though. It's kind of far away. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just drop overlords with zerklings. And my queens. Because the zerklings are insanely strong. These things are a bit uh, risky to rely on, I guess. Do I not have more links? I guess I don't have that many zerklings because my bases are actually like these. These links are actually very supply heavy. Flash freeze will be here soon. Yeah, so these zerklings are twice as expensive in supply as they normally are. Okay, we're gonna try and drop that base up north. A creep tumor is under attack. Unacceptable command. Flash freeze storm has arrived. Really? The protos are attacking me during the flash freeze now? Is under attack. Okay, I think it's just gonna be a very costly move, but... We'll have to uh, get that bonus objective one way or another. Maybe I don't even need to drop units. Maybe I can just... Hmm.
No, now we should be good. Good. This is a huge base, by the way. Holy crap, look at the mineral count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Just one more. It looks huge. Just one more is massive, dude. I learned to count. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't feel too guilty for watching my stream today, so I figured I'd make it educational. Yeah, I don't want you guys to procrastinate and waste your Saturdays, you know, so I figured... If I at least add something that you guys may find useful. Like maybe somebody's watching this on the living room television. Where, you know, their kids are running around and they're trying to teach them different things, you know? Like this would be a very helpful thing. The next thing I'll teach your children is how to say, fuck. Very educational stream. <laughs> Sorry. In case you are watching those in the living room. Living room television. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. No. Couldn't resist. Okay. We have done everything. It's about nine minutes left in my Saturday loco. How is that possible, dude? It's only 5 p.m. That sounds like some fake news to me. Yeah, what did I just get for my balls pure? Tunneling claws we had? Parasitic bile? Yes. Deals an addition- wait, is it hydriotic bile? What did I just get? No, parasitic bile. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. Units that die from corrosive rains, dot effect, spawn brutlings near their remains? Okay. That sounds pretty good, man. Uh, that sounds, uh, that sounds alright, I guess. These queens are kind of strong, guys. I think I'm gonna save it, and we'll just send all of our attack commands in this direction. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh. Why'd you guys do it? Okay. Yeah, you can't actually make that many Zerklings. Because the Zerklings are... Twice as heavy in supply as they normally are. AKA one supply each. I used to be a uh, Bal Spewer main, but I think I may actually mix them in every once in a while. They require a lot of micro. And I don't even know if Zerk units really know what that is, or Zerk players really even know what that is. Nobody plays Zork because they want a micro, do they? What's going on, Papa Booch? P Papa Ubuch? How are you? Look how many queens I have. Oh my god, <laughs> they hit hard now. They actually just spawn Brutelings too, I guess, when you have this many of them. Yeah, they will just... Wait, not always. I think sometimes I killed them too quick, so we don't get to spawn that many. Okay, we did it. That was a surprisingly slowly played mission by me, but we did it in the end. The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna do one more mission today. Let's do one more. Yeah, I think it's fun to like, you know, whenever you play these type of missions to do like one as like a, an exploration. And if you make it, fine. 
But if you don't, My that's queen, okay too. Your chamber is now available. What is the yes, Kerrigan chamber gonna do? Because Kerrigan herself is not there. Here, you can focus your Dude, I forgot about the outfit that she wears in this campaign. Oh yeah, yeah. As you grow in power, newer and stronger abilities will awaken. You can alter your active abilities I know. here when I, I know, wish. I know, Kerrigan. Or Isha. Drones morph from larva in 30% less time. Ah, or I have this, accelerated mutations, weapon and armor resurges are 35% faster and cheaper. Crawlers move faster and the cooldown of deep tunnel for primal worms is reduced by 35%. Uh, I think I like that one better. Baneful Brutelings. Brutelings gain a 25% increased attack speed and plus 4 damage versus armored targets. Or empowered spork or empowered crawlers rather. Spine crawlers, spore crawlers, primal worms, and infested planetary fortresses benefit from ground missile and carapace upgrades. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to keep with the baneful brute links. That is pretty strong, though. A bile spewer. We get Hydriotic Bile, so that's the one I just got. So this spawns additional stuff, right? Wait, no, they already do that by default. Wait, don't they? Okay. Gains plus three armor when the Bile Spewer's life is under 50%. Ooh, ooh that's kind of nice. Because even though they regen really quickly, they do actually appear quite flimsy. Now we have Corrosive Rain. It deals double impact damage against structures, and the damage over time effect deals an additional 50 damage over time to structures. So it's like 120 damage to structures? Um, I think I'm gonna go with Adaptive Plating. It's a bit boring. But it's strong. You know what? I had a lot of money in that previous run. I think it's because of the Pillaging Claws. I don't think it was all mining. I think I had a huge bank because of the pillaging claws. So I'm gonna keep that around for another mission. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. Ooh, we get hunter prepared. killers. I do like them. Did you just say the words chocolate rain in the chat? That's an old YouTube video, dude. Chocolate rain! Some stay dry and others feel the pain. <laughs> Does anyone remember that song? That's a very long time ago, man. When do you think that, that video was uploaded? Chocolate Rain. Are preparing shuttles for launch. Original. Can we find the original? I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuras. 2007. The shuttle passes through. They can alert Shakuras to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect- 2007 is not 13 years ago, by the way. For those of you, uh, trying to do the math. New intel! The proto shuttles are equipped with powerful shields that nullify all damage until their energy is drained. Crawler mutations are now available at the spawning pool. Maybe the crawler mutations would have been good over here, huh? All crawler and primal worms gain plus one range. Crawlers root almost instantly. I'm gonna get the extended range. That seems pretty sick. Yeah, we're gonna make a lot of we're gonna make a, a lot of hunter killers. I think in this mission, mind numbing spine launches a spine coated in mind numbing toxins, deals 30 damage and drains all energy from the target. Yeah, sure, on autocast. You know what Hydra's always needed? Additional damage output. We will bring down that shuttle. Basically, I have an automated steady targeting that normally ghosts have. Leave this ball of ice. This Zerg is feral. It is not and these things have 125 HP as well. I think normally it's like what 80 for a Hydra. I want to say. We'll destroy the 
This hive cluster now belongs to the swarm. Okay. Oh, we actually already have to go here. Uh, we do only have one hotkey though for burrow and unburrow, which is a little annoying, but I guess it's okay. Wait, I can get another upgrade? Oh, there's one for each tier. The warp conduit. It must be destroyed before it jumps out of the system. Interesting. That pew sound, was that my Hydra? Does it only do air? It doesn't say that it does it only against air, but... I think it may only be against air, because I don't seem to be targeting it. <laughs> it's the snipe sound effect. It basically is snipe, yeah. Hydra feedback? Oh, it can only use it against units that have energy, I think. Yeah, that's why, that's why. So it works against units. It's basically feedback. Hunter Templar. The greatest unit. And maybe the most cursed one, too. Depends on your definition of greatest. Okay. The Hydras look like they have armor on? Yeah, they do. They do have armor on. Okay. Make a bunch of spores. Make a bunch of spines. Okay. Large quantities of biomass. Good to have. Can use to improve swarm. I love biomass. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But I love having it. Another shuttle. Ooh. This one is accompanied by a fighter escort. A fighter escort? You can't stop us all, Kerrigan. Oh no. Not a fighter escort. So this one is also heading on over in this direction. I added on a bunch of spines and spores in that area. This is usually one of the few missions where I do make a lot of spines and spores because it's really strong. So there's another base up here. I think I'm gonna take that after securing this next upcoming one. Let's listen to the sniperinos. <laughs> That's so cursed! Oh my god, do that deal a lot of damage. Woo! Okay. Not bad. Let's go down, Zen. Fought the swarm. Fought the swarm indeed. You gotta learn our cheer, though, dude. It is, it is not quite fought the swarm, but it's okay. A for effort, thank you very much. They deal nine damage per attack, which is a whole lot. Okay.
How does it work? They have three attacks. So they deal 27 damage per attack. I would say that's pretty good. Then again, what do I know? Look at that Protoss unit joining in the Zerk. Disgusting. The Protoss have launched another shuttle. It is bearing towards an unknown location. They're bringing more warp conduits online. I sense two more activating. Okay. Apparently they're gonna fly over this section that I'm currently at. I'll take it. What's going on, Sun and Neri? Thank you so much. Gifting a community sub. Okay. Here's the main objective point. Yeah, we deal so much damage. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Dark Templar actually kind of messed me up at home in the meantime. Okay. We'll have to move on over in this direction, I guess. Take that gas. I do still have to be in multiple locations at once. A little bit of multitasking required, apparently. More creep spread would also be quite handy, though. Oh! <laughs> I did not quite expect a... Uh, Corsair attack. What were the doing with all yeah, what were they doing, bro? Can we really trust the Protoss with this much information and power? Your forces are approaching the enemy's base. Let us attack! Yeah, they attack with vegetables. Can we really trust the protos? Where did that even come from? Yikes. There's actually a base over here. I did not realize that part. They also have a bunch of hunter killers though. Sniping my units. Is it? Examine biomass, consume, improve swarm. The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Well, that makes things a little more complicated. Okay, taking this expansion for myself now. Uh, 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 uh.
How much uh, of an escort does this one have? Uh, not too much. We already got it. Dude, the hunter killers when they focus their fire are just insane. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sick. Where is this coming from? They're they're coming from there, I guess. Yeah. We'll have to take care of some of these units. Ooh. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Ooh. Don't walk into that, Loco. Bad for your health. I think I may have walked into a few storms without me realizing it. Is that... Oh, for a second it was a Dark Templar here somewhere. Okay. Taking another base. Gotta go fast. Is this where the units spawn out of? I don't know if I was supposed to clear out this much of the map. This is one of the docking base. A launch bay has been <laughs> destroyed. The Protoss will be forced to launch their shuttles from the remaining base. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to kill that. I think you can normally kill it, but I don't know if you're supposed to in this mission. Like, in this particular custom campaign. Because I feel like we killed it quite early, but... Yeah, I think the mission ends when you kill them all. Are launching two sets of shuttles. Ooh, they have disruptors. Tenacious bastards. Whoa, Kerrigan! My family-friendly show! I'm gonna save it here just in case. Can't believe it, man. I wanna apologize to all the parents watching this with their kids. The swearing. It won't fucking ever happen again, okay? Ooh. Base almost dead. Almost, but not entirely. Uh, I did lose a lot of stuff. They use a lot of Dark Templar as part of their like base unit compositions. And they deal a lot of damage. Ah! There's a DT here somewhere. I think there's a few, yeah. Okay. What a mess.
Okay. <laughs> I keep hearing these snipe sounds and I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Do I have detection? Then I realize it's my own hydralisks. That for some reason have the ability to snipe. Hunter killers now have plus one attack range and plus two mind numbing spine range. Mind numbing spine, by the way, was my nickname in college. Very short range, though. Very short range. Pink is my ally now. Ah. I was just about to kill him. That would have been mean of me. Ooh. It's okay. My units have a million HP. <laughs> I've always liked this mission. I don't know why. It just feels really zergy to me. So satisfying. Bro, this guy is telling me his war strategy. I don't really know much about warfare, but I feel like that's a bad build. Another Protoss launch bay has been destroyed. Gonna make a backup Hydra then. Okay. Yo, Matrix. They really are just trying to hide the prime button more and more. Yeah, I heard that, man. It really is kind of a nasty business practice. Twitch has been making some strange decisions lately. It's very frustrating to me. Sorry about that, man, but thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. They hide it, man. They want you to forget about it. I love the idea of the fact that, like, at the Twitch headquarters, they must actively have meetings, and they're like, okay, how can we make this... More difficult. <laughs> Somebody's got to do an evil laugh at some point. How can we remove the feature? <laughs> Decreasing the user experience is always a nice thing to do, huh? Very deliberate, too. Two waves remaining. I think I actually should not be attacking. Because these are kind of powerful, but eh, base is kind of small. There is a Dark Templar here, however. I don't know where the launch bay is, though. Oh, it's this one. This is the big boy right over here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I can jump it. I'll go around the side here. It's not like I have that much money, though.
have launched more shuttles. Yo, an anonymous gifter is gifting five community subs. Thanks, Obama. Could have been. I'm just saying it could have been. Shout out to Obama for the five gift subs. All launch bays have been destroyed. The Protoss are <sighs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> Good. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is... Yes, queen. This mod is very fun. Is it's not that easy, though. Until they are all dead. Like, this is not a mod that you can just cruise through, you know? Like, it's, um, you actually have to put in a little bit of effort, which is really sweet. Oh, apparently I did not unfreeze all the Feral Zerg. I mean, it's certainly not the hardest custom campaign out there, but you do have to use your brain at least a little bit. Restart. Because <laughs> I didn't unfreeze one of the Feral Zerk. You have grown stronger, my queen. A new tier of abilities has awakened. If you wish to use a new ability, you must select it. The spawning pool generates eight free devouring ones every 60 seconds? They cause no supply? Bro, the devouring, that is eight free supply. Of attacking units that are incredibly powerful. Every minute? It's not like you're ever going to have a game where you don't have the spawning pool. Plus, if you set up the devouring ones to give you free resources whenever they attack enemy structures. This is like making you money. Not bad. Overlords morph instantly and provide 50 more supply. Overseers morph instantly and gain extra base armor. Nah, that's way boring. We're definitely going to go Zerkling or Constitution here. Absolutely. Do I have the Hydra? I do. Can I make more? <gasps> what if I go mass spawning pool? Do I get... For 200 minerals each, do I get 8 supply worth of units every minute? Like, what if I make a dozen spawning pools? Because that would sound very broken to me. We're gonna have to give that a try. <sighs> When Frenzy is activated, the Hunter Killer gains additional attack speed. Gains 25 maximum life, an increase of 25%, as well as one base armor and life regen. Whew, life regen is kind of sick. Mind Wrecking Venom. Okay. Mind Numbing Spines deal plus 10 base damage, as well as deal additional damage equal to 50% of the energy burned. It is literally Feedback Snipe. It's snipe feedback. Whatever you want to call it. Wait, what? What was that noise? This is a random... Ah! I had a bit of a leg spike on my end. Wait, what just happened? Oh, my chat wasn't updating. Oh, interesting. Scrandalicious. Casual 10 community sub drop. I appreciate it. I thought my chat was just being very quiet. I thought you guys just weren't saying anything right there for a moment. But apparently my chat was not updating. Hey, thank you very much, Grendelicious. That is super generous of you. I think I like the ancillary carapace the most, but I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna have to go with Mind Wrecking Phantom. Yeah, I don't really like activated abilities, so anything, anything passive. Yeah, my chat was not working there for a moment. Loco turned us off. No, 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 just you, Echo. Wait, look! It's not updating over here either. Huh? Ba ba ba. Hey, there we go. Ah, it's working again. Okay, cool. Loco, you weren't paying attention to us for 10 whole seconds? I know, dude. It's very mean of me. It will never happen again. Uh, maybe it will. Did I get German internet for just a moment? No, I don't think it was the internet. It's probably Twitch. We can run a quick a little speed test. Let's see. 
Is Gabe sending me uh, homework files, maybe? No, Gabe did not send me any additional homework files. Nope, my internet is fine. Yeah, all right, everything should be okay. You did send me about 500 gigabytes worth of homework files in the morning? That is exciting, Gabe. Let's see. Ooh, very nice. I will make sure to transfer those. I should have checked the DMs. I did get a lot of uh, DMs. I got six messages from Gabe. A lot of emojis. I got four emojis and six messages. Yeah, very nice. Very nice, actually. It's a good ratio. Romani-chan? Is that what you guys refer to? Yeah? Can't even message Loco and Old School RuneScape now for quick replies. I reply within two days usually, okay? That's pretty good. What do you guys mean, quick replies? I think within two days is pretty solid. Hey, thank you so much, Grandalicious, for the generosity. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue this campaign probably next week on Monday. I'm gonna switch over and play a little bit more RimWorld, because we were in a fantastic spot in RimWorld yesterday when we ended playing that. It was a lot of fun. Um... Let's see. What's going on, Bildo? <laughs> Bildo Gaggins. Welcome to the stream, dude. That's <laughs> uh, creative. You gotta get creative to get past the language filter. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Um... Let me update my stream title real quick. Uh, 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 uh. There is a language filter for sure when you make your Twitch account. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get creative. <laughs> Jeez, Bildo. What the hell, man? That's so fucked up. That was gonna be your original Twitch username, but you decided to go with Bildo Gaggins instead? All right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. All righty. I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm gonna grab some to eat. I'll give you guys a moment, though. Together with the one, the only. The reason why you're all here. Enjoy.
Alrighty. Thank you guys for sticking around. Appreciate it. Spam this rabbit to find out if rabbits lay eggs. It wasn't a very successful copy paste that Bunny Warren. I'm sorry, man. Oh, that is kind of sad. Not taking any chances. Maybe we can have. Uh, maybe maybe we can have Copilot give us some suggestions. Give me a Twitch chat copy paste about bunnies. I'm sure I'm sure they will have something. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. No, 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 no. No, no, not one of those ASCII art ones, but a text-based one. <laughs> a rabbit is a symbol of time, like the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland carrying a stopwatch. <laughs> what? Taking Alice to a different place and time? Tights picked a rabbit to suit his name as a That's not a very good copy paste. That's a horrible copy paste, really. They didn't even really try. You suck at copy paste us. It gave me the same thing. Feel free to share this bunny themed copy paste though. There it is, guys. <laughs> What's going on, Rusty? Guys, yesterday, when I closed out of the beautiful Mushroom Kingdom, we were just about to witness a beautiful event. This over here is the creation of a Grand Meditation Throne. As a matter of fact, Mr. Mario, who is uh, our royal whatever, this guy has skipped an entire title. So he is currently not really that high of a ranking dude yet, as far as the Empire goes. He's an Acolyte. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna go straight to Baron. Like, I did a bunch of quests with him, and we were busy building up the... the yeah, the ceremony. I'm pretty sure Mario is going to be able to just get an insane buff here very soon. So I've been building this area for him. Took a little while. But I am basically BFFs right now with the Empire. Things, things are going quite well. What are you guys doing in the chat right now? What's going on? That is a very annoying emoji. Can I post one as well? I posted one too. Sorry, Mott. I just wanted to give it a try. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mott. Sorry. Uh, for those of you that have never seen this game before, this is RimWorld. It's a game with loads of RNG. I'm playing permadeath mode, meaning that everything dies permanently, and I have no way of safe scumming. So the only way for me to leave the game is to click the save and quit menu, but, but, but that's it. Like, there is no way for me to just save the game and continue onwards at a later time. Like, I have to live with my consequences. Now, as a gamer, I will tell you guys that living with my consequences is uh, very scary. I prefer not doing that at all if I have any say in the matter. But generally speaking, that does seem to be an important part of this game. Yeah. Um, I'm also playing Randy Random, meaning that decisions that are coming up from the game's AI are not really something that I have a whole lot of control over. So it's a real issue. Because very frequently I will just not have any way to control anything. 
So far though, things are going real well. Um, I do need to actually connect in again with the outside area. I just realized that that is the problem here. Okay. Um, I have got some sick upgrades in my gear. Yeah, honestly, <clears throat> excuse me. Honestly, some amazing upgrades. I think I'm actually gonna make my um, my shelving and whatnot over here a little bit better, a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think I'm gonna extend this area. Because I'm gonna need a lot more places here to store my stuff. Hey, check Benka! Thank you very much! Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, this game is so much fun though, it's very addicting. That's the only problem. Like, it's very easy to spend a ton of time in this game. Which may be a good idea, but... Ah, we haven't done it in a while, bunny. Yeah. Hey, AWOC, by the way, did you give five community subs while I was away? I think you did. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That is very generous of you. Awok always donates subscriptions whenever Lenny is on the camera. Yeah, he's not here for me. He's not even here for you, Chet. He's here for Lenny. You know what? I appreciate the priorities. Okay, I'm excited for this uh, this thing though. I think I'm gonna have to give Mario a different throne room at that point too, because I'm pretty sure there's an Aurora. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Mario is not gonna appreciate his current bedroom anymore when he ultimately is a Baron. Bedroom requirements: it needs to be 30 tiles. The room impressiveness needs to be seven. Or 7T, rather, all floored. There needs to be a royal bed, an end table, a dresser, a drape. No work facilities allowed. So impressiveness, like 30 tiles. How big is this room currently? This is a 5x5. Five five. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give him a better bedroom. I think we'll make, we'll make this one the bedroom. Yeah. This will be Mario's bedroom. Mario is a man with loads of demands. It's a bit sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> what are you guys even doing? <laughs> is this a Luigi copy paste? Ay, ay, ay. Are you guys just speaking speaking Italian in the chat now? Very English looking Italian for what it's worth, but I'll take it. Dude, speaking of Italian though. Um I was gonna get pizza after the stream today, but I figured, you know what, I'll be smart for once, because normally whenever I order food after the stream ends. I end up getting the food way too late, and I'm super duper hungry, and I get kind of, you know, tilted and stuff. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and order pizza, so it gets delivered basically like 15 minutes or so after I normally end my stream, right? Dude, that's so smart. Can you believe that? Incredible. Um, only problem is that they had a deal one, and now they have a second pizza for free. Free. So it's buy one, get a second one free this weekend. Um, now I ordered two pizzas. But I'm just by myself. It's not really a problem, I guess. Yeah. Is this a good or a bad thing? Tomorrow you can eat it? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think I'm actually just gonna... Otherwise this space is wasted. You get breakfast pizza? Pretty hype. You can eat a whole pizza? Really? Oh my god, this is the throne? I think it's massive. 
Okay, can I do the quest now? Yeah, I can. Can we clean it up? Uh, Wario. We have some dirt that needs to be cleaned, dude. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's all right. You store pizza in the oven and then you just turn it on. Dude, I have heard of that. People that don't store leftover food in the fridge, like for example, pizza, they just leave it out on the counter and eat it the next morning like it, did, like it didn't... Guys, put it in the fridge. What are you... You just leave it out on the kitchen counter and just go from there. You do that? You just leave it out on the on the kitchen counter and you're like, yep, this is my life. You do that with bacon? Why? <laughs> you don't want to put it in the fridge? Okay, fine. Just because you can, though, doesn't mean that you should, right? Why would you not put it in the fridge? You like to put loco vats in the fridge and watch them later? Smart, yeah. You used to live with a Swiss girl who would eat raw bacon? All right, anyways, guys, it is time. Please pay your respects, Mario who just used to be a plumber back in the day. And not only was he a plumber, he also was a brother. And not only, okay. Anyways, he is now climbing all the way to the rank of Baron. Everybody's participating. He's already got his top hat on, his fancy outfit. We're beginning. Begin the ceremony. Everybody get in here. Peach, why are you carrying steel? What are you doing? Drop that. No, not like that. What are you doing? Ah, jeez. Okay, fine. I'll link all of these together. Okay. <sighs> I'm excited for this. Where's Mario? Is he gonna make his grant? Mario, where are you? Mario, this is your ceremony. Mario, what are you doing? Ah, all right, all right, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Mario's bestowing ceremony has begun. It's a slow, it's a slow, yeah, it's a very slow process. Fine, we'll just, yeah, Mario's late to his own party, dude. That's when you know you're dealing with a true badass. This guy is throwing his graduation party and he didn't show up until everybody was already there. It's a Mario party? It is. Ay, ay, ay. Mario received the title of Baron from the Empire. Mario has gained a new level of Psylink. He can now use psychic powers of a higher level. Upon blah blah blah, upon gaining it, Mario automatically learned these psychic powers. Beckon, War Race, and Far Skip. If he dies, his title will be inherited by Luigi. Naturally. A new heir can be chosen by contacting the Shattered Empire through a comms console. The title requires apparel of normal quality or better. He needs a cape. Uh, and a formal shirt. A cape and a formal vest. A coronet. Any prestige armor or sidecaster apparel. Okay. I think he's already got that. I don't know what a coronet is. What's a coronet? Is Mario the Lissan al -Gayib? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The title also requires a bedroom that meets all of this. A coronet is a... Oh, it's a shitty crown? Oh, I didn't realize that. He has these abilities too. He can trade with people now. He can now give speeches from the throne if it goes well. Listeners will feel inspired? How hype. 
So he needs to have drapes in his bedroom now. God, what a guy. Okay. Begin your throne speech, I guess. Let's go ahead and just immediately get into that. <laughs> I have no idea what he would be speeching about, but... What do you think Mario would be speeching about? An encouraging throne speech. Alright. Plumbing. <laughs> How exciting. Speeches about plumbing really hit differently, man. Okay, good. This guy's resistance has been broken. I've been trying to recruit this dude, mostly because I need somebody who can permanently clean. Cleaning and hauling is a big job in Locopia at this point. Or, sorry, the Mushroom Kingdom at this point. Another bestowing ceremony? Oh, no, 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 that's what we just did. Ducks join? Yo, Ductifus! A group of ducks has wandered into the area. They seem to be accustomed to human contact. Very nice. Thank you, Mickey, with a casual 10 community subs. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Dude, I have so many. Look at them. I have loads of ducks now. Sub goal completed? Hell yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, we will get more ducks. I can eat them. In desperate situations. Salad bar is full, Loco can leave. I bet you would like that, don't you? You would love it if I left right now. But no, Chet, I'm gonna be here for even longer. We have a lot of uranium ore sitting around, is that a problem? Uranium, you're in the chat? Oh my god. I thought you were like an element. Why even fill the sub goal if he keeps streaming? So I can like, you know, buy food and stuff. I know that that is not a very important thing to you, but... You know that pizza I was just talking about? Loco needs to eat. I know. I'm a loser, dude. What can I say? In this economy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun eating, nerd. Thank you, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Eating is kind of cringe. <laughs> Elvira Snow has sent us a message. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. A poor negotiator could cause more harm than good and may even anger them. What? No, 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 no. They, they want me to send my important dudes right over here? Absolutely not. Fuck them, dude. I don't even recognize their names. I don't even know who that is. Oh, I gotta actually hook up all the ducks, apparently. We gotta... I didn't realize we needed to set those up in the pen. I thought you guys would just... Okay. Uh, my pen right over here. I will bring in the duck. There we go. Any St. Patrick's Day going on in the Dutch lowlands? St. Patrick's Day? No. We also don't celebrate uh, the 4th of July. I know.
I don't know what St. Patrick's Day even really is, to be honest. Unpatriotic of you, Loco. I know, I, I know, I know. St. Patrick's Day is only in the US? I guess, I don't know. You dress in green? No, the Netherlands in general, not a lot of, not a lot of, uh... What do you call it? Catholics? That's it. I mean, they do exist, obviously, but not a lot of saints. What about Petrix? We, we do have a lot of Petrix. Yeah. We have loads of sinners in the Netherlands. Absolutely. Mario, are you sad you still have to sleep in that pathetic bed of yours? Um... All floored, he needs a royal bed, an end table, a dresser, and a drape. Okay, we got an end table. We've got a dresser, a drape. And he needs a, what was it, a royal bed or something? What, what, oh. That thing requires gold? No. I could have bought more gold? Fuck. Oh, that sucks. I never bought additional gold. I didn't think I needed more. Yikes. We do have King's Day. Yeah, we do have King's Day in the Netherlands. But I'm sure everybody in the US celebrates that one too, right? You guys love kings. And especially their special day. That just makes sense. That's sort of the 4th of July. The 4th of July is basically King's Day, is that what you're saying? Uh, why are there things over on this storage that are definitely not supposed to be here? Ah, yikes. I guess I'll just put my outfits over here. Maybe it'll be enough. We have to move a couple of these things around. King's Day, I think that's in like May or something? I'm not exactly sure. It's a, it's a national holiday in the Netherlands. Although people don't really seem to love royalty very much anymore. People do like free days off. <laughs> Bit of a classic. Typical lazy peasants. <laughs> I usually, uh, I, I don't usually do much for King's Day. I usually stream on King's Day. I don't really follow national holidays very well, guys. Not very Dutch, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a problem. Blasphemous? I know, I know. There's actually a few things here that are not quite caught up in that circle. That's a better thing. All I know about the Netherlands King was that he tried to shake hands with somebody after giving a speech that we can't shake hands anymore. That was the Prime Minister. 
That was at the beginning of COVID. It was actually really kind of funny. Like, he did this speech about, you know, social distancing and stuff. And he's like, yeah, we should also avoid shaking hands and whatnot, right? And then literally within five seconds after ending that whole speech, he leans over to the guy next to him, shakes him a hand, and, and walks off. He's like, wait a second, what did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is a very easy habit. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's, that was... No, we didn't eat the king, we ate one of the prime ministers, chat. Come on. Are you saying you don't eat your... Like, just occasionally. It just... Ooh, wait, hold up. Luigi proposed marriage to Daisy. Daisy agreed, and the two are now... Engaged. They will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony takes place. Dude. Where do we want it to take place? What about the fridge? This is lore accurate. Absolutely. Well, just because he's married doesn't mean he can't be with Mario anymore. Or wait, oh, okay, um... Who will they have for their rehearsal dinner? What are, what are, what are rehearsal dinners all about, guys? I don't quite understand... A lot of things about marriage, fair enough. Rehearsal dinners. They sound stupid. Am I crazy? Who's paying for the rehearsal dinner? The people that get married? Are they the ones paying for the rehearsal dinner? I've never been to a rehearsal dinner in my life. Yeah, you guys have to practice eating? Like, what's going on? <laughs> they're usually there, so everyone who has a part knows what they're doing. Sounds pretty stupid, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it's all fun, I'm sure, but... Small one? Oh, yeah, it is a small one. We'll have to be uh, fifty-five. Good. Very good. Very good, Blemmer. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. To be fair, I've forgotten how to eat as well sometimes. <sighs> yep. Mario is now a baron. Look at when you get engaged, please don't please don't tell low GF you think wedding things are stupid. She also thinks most of them are pretty stupid though. Does that make a difference? I would say that makes a difference. Anyways, we have a new person joining the colony, guys. I'm gonna have to give him a name. This guy is going to be our dedicated cleaner. Now. They're very good at shooting. They're also tough, meaning that they don't really this guy is this guy is a bit of a bit of a bit of a chat. We need to give him a name. Obviously a Mario themed name. Any suggestions? We already have Wario, guys. Troopa? I don't really know any of the... I don't really know any of the Mario characters, if I'm being honest with you. Boo? Boo! I know Boo! Boo. I like the name Boo. That's a funny name. Boo! Was that scary? I feel like it was pretty scary. Um... 
Boo. First off, you love cooking, don't you? I'm just gonna double check here. So currently my cook is Daisy. Daisy loves cooking even more than you do, dude. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Boo, you are going to do cooking and hunting whenever we need to, but primarily all you're gonna do is clean and haul. I want you to be cleaning, and then if there's nothing else to do, I want you to be hauling, and when there's no hauling and cleaning to do, that's when I want you to do cooking and hunting. You will get an outfit to join the rest of the gamers, because you are very strong. You are gonna be a fighter. This guy has excellent stats. Okay, so we have a dedicated cleaner now. Which hopefully is gonna make life a little bit easier. Oh, there he goes. Boo is already fully kitted out with his new... With his new stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to select everything here, which is kind of tricky. So I think if I, yeah, if I click the wrong item... It is not gonna, it is not gonna work as well. There we go. You guys all are linked. I don't think I necessarily want to have every type in here. Oh, there's a, a raid. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Just a bunch of dudes with melee, uh, oh, with, with, with melee weapons. That's okay. I think I can mess them up pretty easy. Uh, let's see. So I want to store... I want to store only really like, yeah, good to legendary quality stuff here. And only stuff that is like reasonable hit, reasonable hit points. A coronet, a mad squirrel. Okay, you mad, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa! The mad squirrel is attacking the lynx. I would imagine the lynx is gonna win that fight easy. He did. Yeah, I don't have a lot of power anymore. Problem is, I have very few components. Um, I did buy a bunch from the trader when they recently came over. So, oh, I actually have 42 of them now. Okay, yeah, I will add another one of them. Oh, they're already dead, guys. Looks like meat is back on the menu. Toad has created a human leather duster masterwork. Made out of human meat. Or skin. Fancy. Very nice. That's one of the best and sturdiest materials in the world. How's the flesh tuber today? Yeah, I found out yesterday I'm a flesh tuber. Makes me uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you. Apparently VTubers, or at least some of the VTubing community, refers to streamers like myself as flesh tubers. As in somebody who does not stream with a VTubing character, but... <sighs> You've never heard anybody say that? You're not a real anime fan, dude. Sorry, you had to find out this way. Um... <laughs> whoa, whoa, Don. <laughs> Everything okay, Don? I've helped him call meat tubers? 
Hmm, okay. Maybe this... It's somebody in the chat who said this to me, so I figured it would be true. Because guys in the chat would never just lie, would they? But you guys are saying that maybe they did? Huh? Sorry, but huh? What? I guess I'll buy whatever you guys have. Okay, not everything though. I have a lot of very low quality items. I'm mostly just doing this so I can get rid of my junk. My guinea pig fur normal t-shirt. You guys have no idea how difficult it is to make something out of guinea pig fur. And how many guinea pigs you truly need. It's not something that just pops up easily, guys. I will tell you that much. This is how I clean my bank. <laughs> this guy wants to buy all my junk. Honestly, kind of neat. I have a couple of very small mods installed. Nothing all too exciting, though. Um, honestly, this is kind of a nice trader to come by, though. Um... Okay. Thanks, man. Help me clear out some of my storage. A solar flare? Ah. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and deconstruct some of this stuff over here. Because that is going to create more and more room over here in my pen. And that should make... Yeah, that should make all of this pretty easy. No, I don't really have anything uh, anything special installed. I don't know if there's an easy way for you to see the mods that I'm playing with. But basic stuff like uh, the wall light mod. I think that one's kind of cool. I have a replace mod. So rather than like having to remove something first and then upgrade it. I can just replace it, which seems very convenient. It's just a bunch of basic stuff, really. Nothing all too... Nothing all too crazy. Um, there we go. So my pen now is... Pretty good! Very nice, actually. Large pen, nutrition growth is at 16 a day, and my consumption is at 8 a day. So I don't even have to really do anything. Sweet. Yeah, wall lights almost feel like a necessity. I heard that with the new DLC, apparently, they're actually just introducing that themselves. So you don't even really need it anymore? That's crazy, dude. Wall light apparently is gonna be canon, yeah. Oh, a trade ship is passing by. Please have gold, 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 please have gold. Oh my god, they have a lot. They have gold! Gamers. The gold's kind of expensive, but I will buy like 250 of it if I can. I have so much wood. I think I'm gonna sell like... Uh, there we go. We'll sell 2,500 wood. Maybe I'll sell more. Fuck it. Yeah, I have a lot of organs to sell. It's just that my storage is almost full. So I kind of feel like I, uh... These are... Ooh, there's a lot of dye as well. I also kind of want to get some dye. Can I buy all of it? I don't know how good the dye is, but I saw that I can color my floors and stuff. I like the idea of coloring my floor. 
It seems like a bit of a waste of money, though. <laughs> I have loads of human leather as well. Can I sell, like, uh, I don't know, a thousand of that? Okay, anything exciting that you have still for sale that I would really like to have? Components, yes! 30 components?! Holy shit, dude. Let's go. Unfertilized duck eggs. I can sell you those as well if you want to. Five bucks each. Neutromine. I never buy this. I never do anything with it, but I guess I can buy some too. Because guys in the chat keep telling me it's good. I'm not going to sell my human meat though. I love my human meat. I can sell a couple of my ducks. Because otherwise uh, we have too many. Um, I have a lot of sheep. No, they have sheep. I was gonna say. I should buy some beavers. I do love beavers. Who doesn't love beavers? Um, they sell bison. Okay. So they still have a bunch of other stuff that I could... Like, I have lots of stuff that I could sell here. Things that take up a lot of space in my storage. Like, say, cloth. I don't really think I need that much cloth. Ooh, I have so much rice. Holy crap. I had no idea. Okay. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that means we can make the bed. I was gonna go into the fabricator. Required research bench facility, multi-analyzer. This thing requires gold as well. Increases research speed when placed near high-tech research bench and unlocks a new research project. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is increase the size of this area here. We'll do like a little chill room here somewhere, but I'm going to delete this. Well, we'll move it over there. I will reinstall this somewhere like that. And I want to increase the size of this area. Yeah, I'll do another marble wall over here. Just like so. And then we'll mine out a couple of these bits. Oh, I didn't realize that that one was already good. Uh, we'll create a little bit more space. This is going to be a chill room over here. It's a bit small, but it's okay. I think it'll do. Wait, I can't move my, my, my research bench? I can't move it? Oh, uh, you can't move your research bench? That's super annoying. I had no idea that that one was fixed. Hmm. Okay. So I can put my multi-analyzer, I guess, behind it. There's a mod for moving it, I'm sure, though. You can always do a mod. Yeah, maybe in front of it would be better. I guess I'll have to add an extra area over there. I'm gonna destroy this one and just make this a wall. And we'll add another location right up there. You had a friend who never built shelves and instead put everything on the ground? <laughs> 
Wasn't that a thing though that you like didn't they introduce that much later or am I crazy? Like I feel like initially there wasn't Ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. When I first played this game, I don't think there were shelves. But maybe there were. Maybe I was just dumb. Those two things are certainly possible. Oh wow. Most of the stuff that I built apparently was not high enough quality. Um, I need to have good to legendary quality on a lot of these things, yeah. Gonna change a couple of my projects up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why does anybody watch my stream? I'm so annoying. I need some chairs. We need to put some, some chairs over here. We can watch uh, movies. Thank you, Draco Sack, for the six months. We can stop pretending now and just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ask yourself that every day. I get it, man. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna have to do a, a little bit of a sculpture or something, I guess, in Mario's bedroom. I guess we can start up a new research project too, honestly. Hospital bed would be really lovely to have. Yeah, we're gonna start getting that. They're adding sofas to the game? The technology is here? Why are these backwards? That's okay. Have I ever tried hygiene? In real life? No. In the video game? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Animal disease flu. My rhinos? Oh no, they're sick. For real, for real, dude. We're setting a couple of sick beds up over here. Oh, you meant hygiene mod for RimWorld. Oh, okay, thank you for clarifying. I uh, know I've, <laughs> I've never played with the hygiene mod. Quest available, poor nomads. Eight desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Ray. They claim they have escaped an organ harvesting operation. Oh, I thought they were accusing me for a second. Hold up right now. Last time I got one of these quests, um, I murdered them. I would like to have some more meat. Yeah. Run to us. I would never harvest you. This is a lot though. The refugees are here. Hello guys. Are you guys armed? Whoa, this guy has one hell of a haircut. Look at that. This guy has at least a million YouTube subscribers. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, well, obviously, I need you guys to do a little bit of cleaning and stuff first. Um, cause I, I mean, uh, I, I, you know. These things, uh, don't happen by themselves. I'm gonna have to need you to work a little bit for your, um... How do I put this lightly? Pyromaniac? She's greedy? 17 medical, holy crap! That's insane. Who's my, uh, who's my medic? I think it's Luigi. Having one doctor seems like a bit of a problem. Oh, Mario is also a doctor. Mario and Luigi are brothers in arms. I don't think that's a problem at all. Um... <laughs> this guy looks like a chat. Richard w Willy is his name. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. Or w a Wiley. Okay, sorry. Um, very high animal skills. Hetley Bartlett. Ugly. He's ugly. 33 years old. Somewhat ugly. This subtly repels others during social interaction. Feels about man. Um. Ooh, this guy is a fast walker. So this would be a perfect cleaner. I would very much so like to have Virgil as part of my Virgil Carson. Wait, this guy had too smart? Oh yeah. Vonrio over here is too smart. Except he has zero intellectual skill. But he's 14 years old, dude. Every 14 year old believes that they're too smart. Okay, you guys do a little bit of uh, running around and stuff? Whatever you guys do, I don't really know what you do. Yeah, he's probably a Redditor. He's sickly and tough. He's intelligent and stupid. Isn't that beautiful? He's probably a Reddit moderator. Or like a Discord mod or something, you know? Wait, hold up, hold up. Are my Discord mods here? I don't know if my Discord mods are here. Yeah, he's probably a Discord mod. Mm-mm-mm. One of my colonists is idle. Willy. Willy, are you just... Willy, are you butt naked? So this guy is called Richard Willy. And he's naked as hell. Alright, and he's watching television. He's the first guy watching TV. You know what else Willy is? Dinner. Yeah, he's dinner. He's sitting on our white sofa, butt naked, man. My new cloth armchair. He like stretched his legs out. Fucking guy. He put his balls right on the edge of that sofa, man. Fucking hell. Don't like that at all. Yeah, no wonder Mario is upset. You will follow Wario out around? Undignified bedroom. Bro, I'm sorting it out. Chill. Look, are you actually killing them? Oh, yeah. Oh, he decided to redirect his anger at Luigi? Okay. That's a reasonable thing of, of you to do, yeah. We're sorting it out right now, Mario. I have a statue for you over here. Where are you guys sleeping? Oh, Willy is... flat on the kitchen floor. Luckily, we have the sterile stuff over here, because... Uh, are any of you in... Uh, capable of constructing? Nibbles? Uh, he doesn't really have skills. Alright, you guys can just do whatever you need to. If possible, I would like to... arrest a few of you guys. We're gonna have to manage this properly, though. 
Because again, I am playing permadeath mode, so I can't really mess this up. This is a lot of people. So I think I'm going to arrest them over here. I'm going to line them up over here. And then we'll have all of our dudes standing right over here. And then we try to arrest a few. And then ultimately they'll get angry. We'll eat the ones we kill. We harvest the ones that we will get to capture. Other than Carson, I want to try and get Carson to be part of my team. Because he's a quick walker and quick walkers are really nice. Smoke leaf binge? Because he slept outside? Oh, okay. That's alright, Carson. Enjoyed it. A heat wave? Oh god. Alright. So currently it's 21 degrees indoors. Um... Did I have coolers indoors? A manhunter pack? Cobras! Oh shit. Oh, there's a whole load of them too. As long as nobody's out of the door, we should be okay. Oh god. Indy, no! Run! Okay, good. Ah, no, it's totally fine. Man hunting snakes. What is this, Australia? Whoa, one of them made it. Go hit it with a stick. You okay? Not really. I have so much food. I actually have too much food. What a strange problem to have. I'm gonna install some cooling over here in our base. Uh, not like that. It's a bit weird. So basically the best way I've found to cool your base down is to have a heater right on the cool end. So, so here, we have a heater right over here and then a, an AC unit right over there on the other end. And we blow in cold air and then we put a heater right in front of it. So it's always 21 degrees. Isn't it perfect? Great system, honestly. What if they're venomous? That's okay, these guys are meat. You could turn the ACs on off when it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could turn off the heaters too, I guess. I have too much food in the fridge, man. Yeah, it's a real problem. Hey, Wiley is already prepared. Convenient. It's minus four degrees where he's sleeping, though. I feel like that's kind of cold. That's what I've been saying, Uranium. If we, like, if we need to fix climate change, why don't we just all go to our cars? Turn on the uh, the AC as loudly as possible, and then we will open the windows. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Just roll down the windows. Carson, this is Mario's bed. What are you doing here, bro? His ideology forbids it? Yeah, Carson, this is not your bed. A 
I hope Mario's gonna be happy here. Dude, I can't believe that these guys just come in and start sleeping everywhere. Ay, ay, ay. I hope Mario is gonna be happy with that, uh... With that situation. Rhinoc uh, Rhinoceros 4 has given birth. Very nice, dude. Bunch of squirrels making love. Major break alert? Yeah, this heat wave is a problem. So it's 21 degrees over here. Honestly, the temperature indoors is okay. It's just 43 degrees outdoors. Yeah. Mario tried to convert silver to his ideologian. All right. It's okay, it's okay. Relation, wait, what? A slaughterer from Seda is visiting the colony. They have a few, oh. They're the niece of refugee Carson. Well, Carson, we are gonna have as part of our settlement, absolutely. Don't know about these other people, though. No? Uh, where is the trader? Oh, there he is. Break risk basically means that there is a chance they are gonna freak out, which is not great. Okay, they have five components for sale. They have some medicine for sale, we'll take that. I think I do need some reinforced barrels here at some point, but... No, gold is what I have. This is for me. The most expensive thing that they have for sale is these jump packs. Tech print jump packs. I don't know about that. Do, 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 do. Is one of them three by three? Or just, it's, hmm. Mario, are you happy now, by the way? Is this, is this okay for you? I don't know if he is gonna be happy with this situation. There's a mad muffalo, by the way, but he's already dead. Carson, Carson wants to join me. This is the guy that I wanted me to, okay. He wants to join here permanently. He's been drinking my stuff. He's sleeping in Mario's bed. The only problem with this is that I need him to be of my same religion. New recruit, Carson. All right. Carson is the, uh, the new cleaner. I have to set this up in a moment though. Yeah, I need to convert him, but the problem is I need to do that on cooldown. So we're gonna do this a little bit differently than I normally would. Carson immediately is switching into a new outfit. This fucking guy, man. Carson, drop all of that. Just run around naked. We don't care about any of it. Don't be, don't be, don't be shy. Drop your club. Okay, go back to bed. There's a fire? Yeah, but it's outside, it's okay. Um, I think the first thing I'll do is arrest Carson. I don't really know what the best way of doing this is. 90% chance, okay. Bar Bowser, go get him. Just in case, I would like Toad and Yoshi to be here too. Okay, good. We're gonna set him up to be converted. Yeah, we need his will to be as low as possible. We need him to be converted. Very important. 
Because I don't really want to deal with people that have multiple religions. Gets confusing in this game. Oh. He's brought us with deadlift. Remember that guy? I killed him. His will is already very low, though, which is great. Luigi, when you wake up, uh, when Carson wakes up in the morning, I need you to do your little converting thing. Go ahead. A self-tamed tortoise? Okay. Um, I need some tiles over here, some sterile tiles. Same for this spot. We'll do some wood floor over here. And then after you guys are done with all of that... Oh, I can paint the floors now too, actually. I think I'm gonna do a golden floor. In my uh, throne room. I feel like that's reasonable. That'll look very nice. Okay. Is my salad bar blocking anything? No, I think it's fine, right? Oh, that does look kind of clean. I'm also gonna paint Mario's room with a golden floor. It's pastel orange. It's okay. And then once all of this is done... I think I'm gonna let you guys do a little bit of... Um, Lining up. Just a little bit of lining up. Royal apparel. Ah, this is what we need for the coronet. Maybe, Draco. I don't want to say it out loud because that would be a problem. Can't you just seal them in a room? I can. But that would be cruel. Instead, I just want it to be over with quick, you know? I hope Mario is happy now with this whole thing. What happened to Carlson? I arrested him so I can convert him to my religion. It's a very reasonable thing to do, no? I'm also actually gonna try and arrest a couple of these other people, so before we kill them, we harvest their organs. That's not a problem. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that's an issue at all. If only you knew how much organs sell for, Chet. God, that's really bright, isn't it? It's called recycling. It is. Good for the planet. Um, I would like to do a little bit more hauling if I can. I don't know if there is any hauling in this area anymore, but... Let's do some hauling. Just like so. Conversion? Ah! He has now turned himself away, so Carson is now fine. Oh, Anita is apparently a fire start. Come on, guys. She's just starting fires everywhere. Okay. Stellion 2 has started to roam. 
I don't know. It's because she destroyed the freaking gate. How long does she do this? Okay. Um, so... Carson, I don't really know how this works, right? But say I release him right now, since he is still part of my crew. I think he will just immediately be part of my team again. I don't think I actually have to recruit him another time. I'm pretty sure he's still recruited. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Carson is just part of our dudes right now. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so Carson is my newest addition. He is going to be our dedicated cleaner and hauler. I'm gonna set up his requirements in a moment. We're gonna have to give him a name, guys. Uh, I think this is gonna be one of my last guys that I want joining me, so we may as well have a good name for him. Any suggestions? This is somebody in the Mushroom Kingdom. Are there still any mill names left over? from the Mario world. Waluigi? Gino? Who's Gino? I don't even know. Birdo? Birdetta? Bullet Bill? Koopa? Oh, we can call him Koopa, maybe. I like Koopa. Koopa. We may have to dye his, uh, his beard yellow or something. No, we didn't call him Koopa yet. Okay. I think the time has come. I need all of you to just go and line up right over here. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. I need all of my crew to go and line up over here. Now, this may look suspicious, but it all makes sense in just a moment. I will allow the animals to attack, of course, naturally. Uh, a sheriff is passing by? Okay. We better do this quick. <laughs> Law enforcement is here. I want to try and arrest as many of them as possible. Well, I can I can arrest I can arrest um three of them. Okay. Happy Saturday, Low Emperor Low Hype. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, so Koopa go over there. You have a very low chance. Okay. Thank you very much, Galvarino. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We tried to arrest three of them. Okay, we didn't do that. Ooh, Bowser actually took a lot of damage. Bowser took a lot of damage. Oh, that's okay. Arrest them. Capture them. Okay. Yeah, there was friendly fire there for sure. Um, there's still one that's alive. We'll have to take care of that. Oh, come on, Wario. <laughs> Jeez. Like, he wasn't even trying. Okay. I like how Koopa, by the way, did not hesitate at all. Koopa just betrayed his friends like it was nothing. 
These were people that were just passing by and they passed by into a troop of cannibals. So what we're going to do for each of these people is harvest a lung, a kidney, and a heart. A lung, a kidney, and a liver. A lung, a kidney, and a heart. At which point they will die. But since we are cannibals, we recycle the whole human form. Now, these guys, they came to me as part of a quest because they were being hunted by cannibals. Or what was it? Organ farmers? I'm not exactly sure. One of the two. Luckily, they ran right into my arms. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> Out of all the people to run to. We have too much food, which is a weird problem to have. I'm actually gonna reduce the amount of food I have. Or maybe we can just sell it or something when somebody comes passing by. Mario is doing a little bit of tending to these people right now before he will ultimately begin the harvest. <laughs> Mario is a great doctor. Oh, Yoshi, are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Ooh. You guys are sharing bedrooms? Koopa, you just took the nice room? Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 he's fine, he's fine. He's sad that he got arrested. Okay, um, so that clears out my new character over here. I will set Boo to do some more cooking as well. And I think I'm gonna put him on the night cycle. Cause Daisy is doing a lot of cooking, or Peach is doing a lot of cooking during the day. I would like to reduce the amount of food I have in my fridge. And making meals, I think, is the obvious answer. So Boo is gonna be on the night cycle now. Don't know if he minds that. I don't think it's a problem. And then our new guy, Koopa, can be doing the cleaning. Yeah, hauling, cleaning, researching. I think I may actually make Koopa also part of the night crew. So if there is any research to do, he will do it during the night. Koopa, Koopa has a really nice trait that I was looking for for a while. Called Smoked Leaf Tolerant. No, 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 no. Um, called Fast Walker. So he just has additional movement speed compared to everybody else. I think I'm going to start cooking lavish meals. We're doing a bit of butchering. Always nice. This run is going surprisingly well, guys. I'm ready for it to all come crumbling down before too long. But so far, so good. Surgery failed? Mario failed catastrophically? You hate to hear it. The kidney is still in there. There's a lot of body parts on the floor. Okay, somebody died. Anita died. Okay, so we have our noble apparel. I can now go into the thingamajig over there too. Um, noble apparel. So what I need to make is a coronet. Yeah, this thing. I will make it out of uranium. That seems like a bad thing. No, we'll make it out of gold. I feel like having a, a crown out of uranium is suboptimal. 
Um, I will change Mr. Mario. Fighter Royalty, Coronet. Yep. As far as headgear goes, that is the only thing you are allowed to wear, Mario. And as far as the bill for the Coronet goes, I need this to be until I have one. I don't know if these things break. Is Daisy sitting on the same couch as... Never mind. Koopa, what are you doing right now? Oh, I set you up to constructing as well? No, no. Better start cleaning, dude. He's no longer wandering around in sadness. Well, he did see the two people right next to him get, you know, murdered. Okay. If you have a pawn that has 12 melee skill but no passion, but has two shooting skill with double passion, should you stick with melee weapons? I think early on, yeah, but as soon as you can, you probably want to switch over to, uh, to range. But I'm honestly not entirely sure. Ah, uh, this is a mega sloth. Okay, Boo is taking up some cooking during the night. He's taking up some classes. He's doing lavish meals right now, which is gonna make everybody very happy. Hey, compacted machinery, baby. Always nice. You love to see it. Hey, sketch. Thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream. Roof collapse. Ooh. Anita died during surgery. That was on purpose. What's going on right now, Bartlett? Why are you here? Oh, he's pretty dead. Yeah, okay. Why is it does he still show up over here? Bartlett was never part of the crew. Did he think he was part of the crew? Oof, awkward. We never even had a cat coming in today, guys. Hey, a ball good trader. Awesome. Luigi. Why did Bartlett die? Well, we harvested him for resources, for one. Um, okay. Yeah, I would like to sell some of that rice, because my fridge is full of it. Not the human meat, though. I have loads of corn, rice, and potatoes. Um, I think I'm gonna do like, I don't know, 2,500 of all? Maybe a little bit more of these. We'll do like 5,000 of this. We'll do like, what, minus 17... What is that, 56? Does that line up? I don't know. Minus 88 for that. That would be nice. Corn, potatoes, and rice. Yeah, it also goes... It, 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 these... The thing about corn, potatoes, and rice is that they all go so nicely with a nice slap of human meat. So I don't want to, like, just sell it because, you know, I may not get another opportunity like this, but... Yeah, I guess we'll just... We'll just do it. Anyone in the chat know stuff about audio gear? Oh, absolutely. There's definitely audio nerds in the chat. If you are an audio nerd, Zomalt has a question. We'll buy some smoke leaf. No, maybe not.
I have some fresh kidneys and stuff for sale. Did I sell anything else that I would like to have? They sell goats? Like the StarCraft 2 tier list? Chocolate. They sell chocolate. Alright. Fine meals? Sure. Vegetarian lavish meals. No, I don't think we need that. Chinchilla meat. I think I will get the chinchilla meat. So we can make more and more meals. I think it's good. Camp fuel. I don't have any of that. I may as well. I'm trying to buy stuff even though I don't really know if it's going to be helpful for me. Mostly just because I kind of feel like at some point I'm going to regret it if I don't. Because there are some of those things that I just have loads of. Do I want to buy human leather? They do. I will sell like 500 of it. Oh, I can't. Minus uh, 100 maybe? Would that be okay? And we'll just buy... We'll, we'll just sell as much as we can. Okay, I think this is good. Loads of cleaning. Another roof collapse? Okay, stop this. Um, I can make hospital beds, by the way. I forgot about them. Yeah, these are expensive because they require... ...components, but I did just get a whole load of components, so... I think I'll make that many. If I need more, I can add them later, but I have quite a few components now that a few of these traders showed up. I mean, I've... yeah, I have 65 right now in total. So that's something. So we're now using potatoes, mega sloth meat and corn to make lavish meals. Dude, this run is going so sweet. I'm just waiting for me to, you know... To, to, for the game to throw me a massive curveball. Because it's almost going a little too well, you know? <laughs> you bet it's coming? Oh, Ambrosia is over there. What? I think we put all of our drugs in the fridge. Oh yeah, now that Mario is an absolute giga chat, he can have a new permit. Glitter medicine drop. Food drop, labor team, silver drop, aerodrone strike. What else can I do with him? No, I've been playing this settlement for a while. I don't really need any of these things. So he's got stun. He's got a word of joy. Beckon. Command the target to approach. Wall race. Form a temporary wall by skipping rubble and soil up from deep under the ground. And he's got far skip. Skip the caster along with anyone standing near them to an ally at a distant location. This can send people far across the planet. But only works if there's a willing ally. Okay, I see. That is complex. But cool. Yeah, labor drop is the same as food drop. I don't really understand why uh, we get two of those options. You can just eat the laborers.
Um, there are a bunch of sculptures and stuff that are just chilling here. These are kind of big. Gonna re yeah, reinstall a couple of things. I have the Marble Grand Sculpture. I don't have biotech, no. I just didn't buy the DLC. Maybe at some point I will, because it's probably a lot of fun. But I think for now, if this playthrough fails, if this run fails, I'm gonna be switching over to another game. Because we've been running this one for... Like, I've been playing this game for so many hours at this point. Colonists are gathered to celebrate Luigi and Daisy's marriage? Chat, it's a beautiful day. Boo and Koopa lack a ranged weapon. Koopa, when you're done, please go and... Okay. Not for the wedding, not for the wedding, but in general, you know? Usable now. Are they gonna do it automatically? Do I have to do anything? Oh, the marriage has finished! Amazing. Luigi and Daisy are now married. You guys get this bedroom. Luigi? And Daisy. You guys now get to sleep over here. And I guess that actually opens up a bedroom. Yeah. So that's actually really nice. Koopa can go over there. I think this is good. I think everybody has their own private room again now. Very convenient. Luigi and, da or Luigi and Daisy did go to bed at different times though, even though this was their first day of being married. They get to they went to sleep at a different moment. This is not a good start for their marriage, man. I don't know much about marriage, but I feel like if you're gonna go your very first night as a married couple, one guy goes to bed. Like, hours earlier than everybody else? I feel like that's a bad sign. What's going on, Shidarki? Hello. Guten Tag. Luigi and Daisy were finally alone. Yeah. Well, didn't work out that well, did it? Um... Mad Muffalos. Oh, there's a whole load of them. No, actually, it's just two. So a bunch of my guys have multiple guns. Yeah. Boo, I need you to go and equip that rifle. Um... Rocket launchers? I don't think we need that. Peach and Luigi can't wear... Yeah, I can't have any of those. Okay. Doesn't everyone in the colony have to be a cannibal for it to work out? Yeah, yeah, everybody in my colony is a cannibal. So everybody here is part of the bloody cult. The bloody cult is... I think everybody is part of it. Yeah, everybody is part of the same religion. Um, that is one thing that I've been trying to do on purpose, though, because these uh, if you have multiple religions, it does make it all a little bit tricky. I gotta pay attention to my batteries. I actually don't have anything that's really generating a ton of electricity. Um, geothermal would be amazing. I'm 
currently getting fabrication, so I can make um, a fabrication bench. Yeah. A workbench equipped with advanced tools for producing technological marvels. I think that's what I want. Yeah, I have uranium. Can I do anything with that? A raid from the bloody lobsters. They're attacking immediately. Look how small these raids are still, man. They're tiny. These guys are just gonna run to their deaths. One. Two. Three. All right. I lowered the difficulty setting for this run by one tier. So we were on like the equivalent of like hard difficulty. I think right now I'm on like normal difficulty, but there's like six difficulty settings. I think I'm on like the third or something. I'm not exactly sure, but does it make that much of a difference? Like, does that make it so much easier? Because I just kept failing over and over and over again. Maybe that does make a lot of difference. Or maybe my game is not considered to be that impressive yet. I think my game is pretty impressive. But... An electric smelter. No, I already have one of those. A fueled smithy. Kind of want to switch this one out. An electric smelter. This is something else, right? Extracts usable metal from slack chunks and other mixed metal. Consumes a lot of power. Right, I do need one of those. Don't remember exactly what for, but I'm gonna make it now that I can. Um, I don't think I really need to do any of these things. I guess I can do a wood fire generator if I really want to, but... Steelies, or yeah, these used to, since ancient times, to memorialize individuals, battles, and other important events. Um. Ooh, a nine by nine area where spaceships will land. I kind of like that. We can have a little landing strip. That's what she- no, 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 chat, inappropriate. Um, I'll set up a little landing area right over here. I'll make, um... Um, I'll make a floor, I guess, somewhere. Okay, we'll set up a landing strip over here. Every 4th of Juggest, we have a new celebration. To begin the ritual, select one of the following and click a ritual spot. Do I have a ritual spot? I guess I can do a ritual spot over here in my church. Oh. Wait, was this like a specific thing that I can only do? With... Ah, I see. Uh, there's a muffalo over here. I do need to set muffalos up in this thing. Muffalo, good. Um, I think this is good. Four of these placed at the corners, right. So I'm gonna place them in a few different locations. 
And the idea is that I guess we, uh, we have spaceships landing in this area over here. So this is like my landing strip. We have loads of steel. I think it's okay. I've never made one of these things before, though. At least I had loads of steel. I'm assuming I still do. Ah, uh, it's okay. I hope. Oh, a tool cabinet. Yeah, these guys all make use of tool cabinets, right? All of them can make use of one tool cabinet right over here. Yeah, this guy doesn't need one apparently. I guess I'll set one up over here. We'll make one. Inspire Taming by Wario. I don't really have a recreational room. But maybe it doesn't need to be a room. We can do a poker table. A billiards table? What about in the hospital? No, don't have the space. We can do a poker table somewhere. Little poker table over here. Put some armchairs around it. What do you think the bets are? Mario here is balling, man. Um, the only problem is that I constantly run out of electricity. That is my main issue here that I have. Do I just keep adding on more and more solar panels? I guess ultimately I really do want to switch to something else. I'll add two more. I guess I have to add a third one now just for my own sanity. Or maybe just one for now, in the middle. I have some more mining that can be done over here. We're always looking for components. But I think we're getting to a point where hopefully soon when I can fabricate them, that's not really an issue anymore. So there is a flat wall right over there. Which I gotta be a little careful about, because I think... Uh... Yeah, I think I gotta be careful about that. I did see that there was a new DLC announced, yeah. I'm not playing with that new beta thing or whatever, though. Not in this run, anyways. Man. Remember the good old days when... My favorite video game, StarCraft 2, would also regularly get announcements of new stuff. Those were the days, man. Like, imagine if RimWorld is your favorite video game, and it's the only game you play, and suddenly you wake up in the morning, and there's a new DLC announcement. Like, something that you didn't even know you wanted. Man, those were the days, huh? You're not used to streamers answering questions? Oh, I tried to pay a lot of attention to the chat. Even the things that Maktava says. Even those. Yeah, yeah. No, not you, Echo. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, it was too easy. You only write quality stuff. No, definitely. Definitely. Ever since the chicken nugget situation, Butcher's Echo, things have changed, man.
<laughs> the nugget situation. <laughs> that was only yesterday, but oh shit. Uh, I don't know where, um, oh, Wario's over here. I feel like waking up my dudes for these enemies is not worth it, dude. Is he shooting my squirrel? Or is that what you... Wow. <laughs> this is so, so pathetic. The, the game is almost too easy now. I'm sorry about Squirrel 3. It's not easy for them, but for everybody else in my team. The Nugget Incident. Yeah, the Great Nugget Incident of 2024. We don't want to talk about the Nugget Incident all too much. <sighs> Which ending am I going for? I don't know. I have never had an ending in this game. I've always failed miserably. So I think what I'm going for is these final research points and we're gonna try and make a ship and get out of here. I think that's what I'm doing. Ooh. Mad Boomaloops. Everybody, stay indoors. Lock your windows. Or whatever people need to do. Okay. I've always had the everybody died ending. Yeah, that is the... <laughs> it's one of the endings. And then they all died. Surprise. Turns out cannibalism is the answer, guys. Cannibalism really does make life much easier. Isn't that incredible? Maybe it's Mario. Maybe it is the Mario world that is uh, causing all these good times. I'm playing Randy Random, yes. I'm also playing permadeath mode, which has definitely not helped my success rate. The fact that I'm playing permadeath mode and I can't save scum is definitely a bit tricky. Feeling good about all of this though. Maybe a little too good. I could use a little bit of humbling. <laughs> Squirrel 1 has broken down and is wandering around in confusion. This happened because dementia. That's kind of sad, man. <laughs> Let us eat the squirrel. Stringy meat, but something, you know, it's old and it's okay. Dude, I'm so excited I got pizza today. Ay yeah yeah. I feel like I haven't had pizza in a long time. How how much time is acceptable for pizza, guys? I mean it's not been ages. But I feel like it's been at least like two weeks. Maybe three weeks. I feel like pizza is like a weekly thing, no? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It kind of it feels to me like a weekly food. Twelve minutes? You give yourself 12 minutes to go without pizza? Brave. You just realized you haven't had pizza in a month? Well, today is the perfect day, Crispy. <laughs> how, common, how common is it for people to eat pizza? How frequently do people usually eat pizza? For us, it's usually about once every week, once every two weeks or so. Once a week, monthly. You got a pizza in the fridge right now? At least once a month? You usually eat one at least weekly? Yeah, okay. I was trying to judge my pizza quota, but I'm glad to see it's not that, that weird. You only eat homemade pizza? Hey, fair enough. Homemade pizza is great. 
Roughly weekly, usually. Okay. Once a month, says Spirit Free. You used to have it multiple times a week, but then fat. Reasonable. Um, let me see. How's today's YouTube video doing? It's a very fun series. It's not doing as great. You know what? I think it's the thumbnail. I think I gotta like change my thumbnail a little bit. I think we're gonna actually do that live. I was looking at my thumbnail and I like it, but I think it can be better. Because it's a really good series and I think it'd be a shame if people don't watch it. I need some, some, no, I think what I need to do, so I was looking at my own thumbnail after I made it, like two hours after I put it together. I think I need to make the nidus, or sorry, the nidus, the, the thingies over here a little bit more obvious. I think I'm going to give them like a bit of like a shadow or something. Because at the moment, I think they don't really pop very well. Like if you look at the thumbnail, when it's thumbnail sized, it's not entirely obvious immediately. Like when it's like this big, it's kind of tricky to tell exactly what's going on. So I'm just going to try and do a little bit of a drop shadow or a glow or something along those lines to make it a bit more clear. Yeah, exactly. When it's thumbnail size, it's a bit tricky to see what's happening, I think. Um, I think that is about good. Okay. I am going to go ahead and select a few more parts here. So it doesn't get too dark. And we'll drag those above it. What did I just do? Ah, I selected it the wrong way around. That's what I did. Okay, we'll just do it again. Okay. Am I dumb? I am dumb. That can't be a surprise to anybody here, though. It's been a long day, chat. Okay. Now we do the drop shadow. That should be a bit cleaner. Still dumb. The hell? There's something here that I s ah maybe this thing. What am I selecting right now? Why is this part in the middle not included? Huh? I think it may be because there's an opacity situation going on. Or my Photoshop is bugged. I don't know. It is Photoshop after all. Some of the buggiest software out there. Luckily, I only pay a monthly subscription for this shit, so... That's nice. Is there a reason why there's no Lenny? There we go. On the thumbnail? No Lenny. That's a good point. Okay, there we go. That may actually be a lot better. So we go from this to that. That'll make it a lot more obvious, I think, when it's, uh... Just use paint. Paint is excellent, dude.
Why is my thumb so long? I don't know, dude. That is just my thumb. <laughs> I didn't do anything with my thumb. That's just me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know what they say about men with long thumbs, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Large gloves? That's what they say. Right, right, right. Massive gloves. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think that'll look a lot better. I am going to upload a new thumbnail. And I think that'll do the trick. No arrows, guys. The arrows have been underperforming lately. So we went to this from this. It's definitely better, right? Yeah. It's small, but it makes a difference. Just a little bit of a drop shadow. I also added one with arrows, but nobody clicked the arrows. Where's the funny hat? No funny hats, I'm sorry, CTG. I should make the forehead bigger. I think the, the forehead is plenty large. Plenty. Honestly, if anything, we should shrink the forehead. Yeah, that may have been a little too big. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Three heads? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess the opposite of a forehead is a three head. No amount of Photoshop can fix this forehead, man. Wait, weren't you saying yesterday you were going bald to D the Hunter? Hold up right now. Your forehead shaming me? <laughs> Technically speaking, I guess if you're going fully bald. Your forehead can just extend. Yeah, it extends all the way down. Bald gang in the chat, here we go. Meerkats is the bald gang guilt leader. He, he loves being bald. Baldies Unite. Is that the name of the guilt? It's a great name. <sighs> Baldies not- no, hold up, hold up. You know what they say about bald guys? I don't know what they say about bald guys. Smooth criminals? <laughs> yeah, is that what they say about bald guys? You've been hit by! You've been struck by! A bald man. Ow! Rub our heads for good luck. Do people frequently ask to rub your bald head? Is that a common occurrence? Because I have noticed this with bald people in general. People always want to touch it. People just kind of want to like... Just feel what, it, feel what it's like. This is definitely a thing I have noticed, yeah. It's usually once they feel comfortable with you. <laughs> when a bald man is letting you touch their head, it's a real sign of trust. That's beautiful, man. That's like one step further than being Facebook friends. I think that's beautiful. It's a problem when you want to take a selfie. Your head is so shiny. That's a good point, man. Like, what if you want to, like, moisturize? Where do you stop? Like, say you have a moisturizer, right? And you just want to moisturize your face. 
Y there's no telling where it stops. Yeah, there's no stopping. You just keep going. Suddenly you're trying to moisturize your back. You can't reach. Man. Full body moisturization only. These are problems I've never really considered in my life. I have not Draco, no. <laughs> oh jeez, that's a good plan. If you have a bathtub, just fill it with moisturizer and just take a little roll in it every day. That's a great plan. You do that? Makes sense. Kind of feel like I need to have a fabrication room somewhere. Or not a fabrication room, a relaxation room. Okay. Oh wow, we can destroy weapons? I want to destroy any low quality weapons. Yeah, that's a great idea. I guess we smelt it, Rudder. Yeah, we want to smelt weapon and smelt apparel. But only stuff that is like low quality and low health. Actually, no. Low quality in general. And then also stuff that's low health. So any quality, but like below like 25% hit points or something. Yeah. Same for the apparel. We do this. Any lower quality item. And also any quality item that is below 25% health. There we go. You're grateful you can grow a beard? Same, dude. My beard is... Amazing. Loco, ignore the haters. Big, big forehead equals big frontal lobe. My frontal lobe is massive, bro. Huge brain. My brain is actually only frontal lobe. That's the only thing I have. Hey, they sell a component. Neat. That's beautiful, CDG. Your brain's a myth. I saw photos of my brain recently, it really exists. I was surprised too. So I do need a symbol of blood. Yeah. No, I had wrinkles. There were wrinkles and everything, dude. Trust me, I was also surprised. Yeah, I, I had a wrinkly brain.
It was very exciting. What did a wrinkles do? Increase service area. Okay, I'm gonna reinstall my television. my poker thing this is my little recreation room and then that previous recreation room is gonna be repurposed you guess what it's gonna be repurposed to guys it is going to be the place where we murder people yeah where we do our human sacrifice nice right My current plan for my base is just survival, really. The prep kitchen. Yeah, we could call it the prep kitchen. Absolutely. I want to do a speaker over here. And then we want to do a, uh, I don't know, a drum or something. Let's put a drum here. They seem to like drums. This is kind of a small area, but I think that's, I guess it'll do. We need to make a floor here. Some lights. Is this a new song or like what's going on right now? Is this a song that plays when your settlement is going well? Maybe that's why I've never heard it before. Built fabrication benches. Capable of high-tech project or project rather, ranging from component assembly to power armor construction. Mate. This is hype. You now have the ability to build a fabrication bench, but it requires some advanced components to get started. You can collect them. I've been buying them. That's great. Um, fabrication bench. Oh, dude, that's a big structure, but it fits perfectly. Okay. I got to put up my symbol of blood. I think I'll have to put it over here, because otherwise it, was, uh, it wasn't going to fit, but it should be okay. And then we do our next research. Bulk Goods Trader. Hello, Bulk Goods Trader. There they are. Luigi, go say hi. Ducks. I just want to say it. Dude, they have loads of meat for sale. Holy crap. They have lots of meat. Uh, 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 uh. Some cloth as well. I think I'm going to sell some of my leather. Because I have too much of it. Why do I have so much human letter, you may ask? That will remain a secret. Bird skin. Um, they sell loads of junk. These guys don't really sell anything good. Um, I mean, they do sell. Do they have anything cool for sale? I guess I can buy some meat.
Just so I can make a variety of meals. You guys have anything else good for sale? Dye? Alright, I'll buy some of that. They sell wood? I don't really need wood, but I, I also don't really feel like rebalancing. Fine, I'll rebalance. There we go. <sighs> I have loads of human meat, dude. It's very exciting times to be a Lacopian. Masterwork? A wooden dining chair? Let's go, dude. Here's my fabrication bench. Never used. Brand new. So this thing can make components out of steel? What? Out of regular steel. These things make components. What? That's amazing. I didn't realize it was that cheap. A vitals monitor? What do I even want? I don't know. So much room for activities. I can even do some deep drilling if I want to. Honestly, I think what I really want though is geothermal power. As boring as it is. Um, I think I just need power. I don't, I don't have enough power. This is a no-brainer research. So there are multiples of these. Yeah, there's one over here and... Oh, there's three over here in total. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit awkward because I'm gonna have to... They're all together, though. We have struck compacted machinery? Oh, hell yeah. What are my pawn names? I wanted to see if Mario and Luigi would finally be alone. But they're not. A group of poor travelers are approaching, looking for help. They're begging for herbal medicine. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequence. Voice! It looks like meat's back on the menu! Wait, where are they? Oh, there they are. Maybe I'll just help them out, actually. Yeah, I've been kind of mean to everybody involved. So I'll just give him some medicine. There you go. Go ahead. Give him some medicine. It's nothing to us. A snack walking right into my mouth. Um, the only problem is that I need to extend my base in order to grab this thing. So it's a bit awkward, but I think I'm gonna create like a little, uh... Yeah, I think we're gonna make like a little... Extension unit to our base. I don't love it, but... This is the extension wing. This is where we're going to be building our geothermal. A ball goods trader is here? Oh my god. Dude, they just keep running into me. It's amazing. Go ahead, Luigi. A couple of ducks are making love over there in the corner. What a beautiful day. Dromedary meat? Weird. More components for sale? Oh my god, they have 31 components. I don't even need, need this stuff. Neutro neutroamine? Camp fuel? What do I do with it? I don't know. But guys in the chat tell me I need it, so I buy it. Because I always listen to guys in the chat. Always. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Definitely, guys. Totally. To totally, dude. Totally. Yeah, when have you guys ever been wrong? Mm. Mm. 
You know what? Animal starvation. Indy. What's your problem, Indy? Oh, you guys can't go into the fridge anymore, can you? That is something I need to set up. Thank you, Indy, for letting me know. Extend the allowed space for animals. You guys are allowed in the fridge. I forgot about that, Indy. This is why you're so successful at the climbing game? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Plenty of help from guys in the chat. Really made that... That climbing game an absolute breeze. Never have I played an easier game. It was called a difficult game about climbing. Honestly, nothing difficult about it. Just listen to the guys in the chat. I think that's what other streamers did wrong, dude. They just didn't listen to the guys in the chat. Did I refund that game? No, no, no. I don't refund games that I've streamed. I don't know, that feels kind of bad. Chet is never wrong. That's true. That's true, yeah. For other streamers, that's their problem, man. Their chat is just not as smart, right? Not as attractive. Not as good at StarCraft 2. And most importantly, not as humble. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen Artosis's chat? Entirely different caliber. No disrespect, but... Especially humble. Yeah, if I had to describe you guys... If people ask, like, if I had to describe you guys... Would I bring up the fact that you're Grandmaster in StarCraft 2? No. Would I bring up the fact that all of you guys are incredibly supportive and... You know, generous with your giving, that you're all multiple PhDs and, you know, work amazing jobs and all that. No. What I would bring up to other people is that you're very humble. Yeah. I wouldn't even bring up the fact that you all have at least an IQ of 140. Wouldn't even say that. No. Great times. I wouldn't, no. You only got an IQ of 115. Yikes. Yikes. Your IQ is 100 plus? Nice, dude. <sighs> LMAO monkey brain? Whoa, whoa, what are you saying right now? You love talking about how humble you are? <laughs> yeah? This is one of your favorite pastimes? Explain to other people why you're so humble? No more peace talks. We're done peace talks. Oh, here's Toad hard at work, dude. You love to see it. That also means that since I now basically have infinite ones, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this bit of space. May as well. I'm gonna extend my floor too, because it's so ugly as it is. Humility is only surpassed by your IQ. That's beautiful, man. I should probably have some sort of drug production. Yeah. I feel like that is what I'm missing out on right now. Um, our dedicated cleaner, Boo. Are you still cleaning, Boo? Oh, wait, wait, no, it's Koopa. Koopa. Koopa, what are you doing? You think you have time off? Play instruments? Okay, fine. I'll allow it. Um, did we ever build that... Crown? That coronet. Where is the coronet? 
Oh, yeah, because I guess I'll make another one. Coronet until you have one. Make it out of gold. Um, this is a smithy. Who does, what, what is the smithy? Is it the crafting thing? Is it art? I'm assuming it's smithing. I'm brilliant. Sometimes I... Missing 50 times metal? Wait, what? Missing 50 times metal? Oh, it needs... It needs, um... Other resources too? Alright. Make it out of steel or silver, I don't care. Uh, it is toad. Yeah, go ahead. A rare thrombos. Ooh. A couple of thrombos hanging out over here. These guys can mess me up. But, if I could... Inspired creativity? Okay. I think I can try and tame them. Is there any downside to trying to tame them? So these guys have a chance that they will get angry if they get tamed? Yeah, these guys don't have that problem, so at the very least I can try. They might take offense to it. I think it's fine. Toad is currently smelting a crown, dude. I want to see Mario with his crown on, because he deserves it. There it is. A silver coronet made out of gold. Lovely. Bit weird that it's silver, but... Oh! <gasps> Mario! I think we need to do a speech immediately. Look at him with his new crown! He'll be so happy. Have a good one, Douglas. Take care. An encouraging speech. Very nice. Ambrosia sprout? Okay. <sighs> All of this is going really smoothly, guys. I am actually aiming to get the final researches over here. It's just that these researches are kind of long, but... Kind of slow, I guess? But it's not going poorly. We have full batteries, we've got proper gear, we even have a television set up, dude. Yeah, we're actually doing, we're actually doing so well. I wonder at which point I'm gonna like regret all of these things, but for now it seems like it's going really well. Is there anything else that I really need to take care of at this point? Because I kind of feel like we're just cruising. I have lots of food. I've got lavish meals. Anything else, guys? Is there anything I should do? An infestation? Okay, this could be a problem. Where is the infestation? I was starting to feel too comfortable. Last time around, I lost my playthrough that was going really well to a bunch of machines that showed up. Is it over here? I think it's over here. Mario, you wait for a little bit, buddy. You're the most important one in our base. Um, the only problem is that this is a lot of... Okay, yeah, yeah. You guys, line up over there, please. Send in the animals. Do 
Dude, I have so many rhinoceri. Rhinoceroses. Easy. Wario, are you okay? Before I say easy. Oh, you're dead in 18 hours? That seems like a problem. But you can make new use of our brand new stuff. Which is kind of nice. Nobody's gotten to use these beds before, so I hope you enjoy. And he shouldn't be dying anymore. Nope. Excellent. Hmm. I'm gonna save it here. Maybe I'll regret all of this on Monday, but for now we're good. That is gonna be it for me for today, guys. I will be back again on Monday, so I hope to see you then. If you are new here, Hit the follow button so you get notified as soon as I go live again. On Monday, we're going to continue onwards with the Enhanced Swarm campaign in StarCraft 2. And we're going to do a little bit of this as well. It is a little jury today. I don't really know what's going on there. Anyways, um, go check out my new YouTube video if you're interested in some StarCraft. Very good series between Arainer and Max Specs. Honestly, especially game number one. Like, if you don't want to watch a full best of three, go watch game number one. It's very good. Anyways, thank y'all very much for being here. Thank you again for the subs, the bits, the donations, and everything else. I, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for allowing me to do what I do. You guys make it possible. For now, though, have a great rest of your weekend. Do not forget to smile. And I hope to see you once again on Monday for another stream. Take care, everyone. Bye. You thought I was gone? <laughs>